Oh, seriously? It just hit. Tw oh, man. Remove. What the frick, Facebook? As soon as it hit, it rolls over to 10 minutes past the scheduled time. I said remove. Oh, you know what? It looks like I can edit now. Edit. Uh, let's see. 12, 11. Oops, 25. Oh, seriously? Stupido. Stupido Facebook. Hello, welcome, Matanui. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wise Guys Entertainment. This is your host, Wyman. We are going to do a P.O. Box opening today. Well, you know what? Let me give a heads up to... Where did you go? All right. Jason Bascom of Unhinged Entertainment. Let him know about the packages. Uh... All right, and let's spread the word on social media. My previous stream uh, ran a little bit long. So this one is starting about 13 minutes late. I'm going to bring up my usual windows. that I stream out to. Let's see, this is the, this is the Facebook version. I'm starting about, oops, 13 uh, minutes late. I said mute. I said mute. All right, there it goes. All right, so we're good there. the other one I had I had another oh you know what it's over here isn't it all right I'm gonna do a little promotion here well, which one is this Oh, okay. Let's see. <sighs> Opening comics gate package is live now. Da da da. Almost done. Sorry for the delays. 
So sorry. Got that one. All right. <laughs> Alrighty then. <clears throat> Excuse me. To any, anyone who wants to pop in that I recognize, there's a link. Dropped it in the chat. All right. So let me see how many I have total today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. All right, we've got eight packages today. Eight packages slash envelopes. Hooray. Got my trust scissors. 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 All right, let me see. This one I don't recognize. from Aaron, Aaron. And it comes in this smallish package. I have no clue what this is going to be. Oh, ah. okay. Uh, let's see, where do I put this? Uh, over here, I guess. So, we've got this little package here. It's like a, it's like an ash can, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, all right. It is open. All right. Oh, wow. I don't know if this was by accident. Oh, all right. No, it wasn't by accident, I don't think. I must have backed this twice because I got two cards. Uh, they are of, is it pronounced Akane or Akare? And uh, this was this artwork was done by Carla Tornielli um, of White Cat Comics fame. She and her husband, John Gallagher, did The Grim Reaper and The Grim Reaper 2. Now they've got Witch Hunter. So she did the artwork on this training card, and the back side has the image of the protagonist, and it says more lethal on it. And then from King to Comics, we got. I don't remember it being like ash can size. It's kind of cute. So there's the regular cover. The back side has the branding, the logo. Thank you for backing King Toad Comics. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> uh, trying to show some decent work on the camera, but there's a lot of glare because I have the windows open so I have more light. Whoa. Looks pretty cool. Oops. Uh, yeah. So this is uh, more lethal. So I got two of those. All right. Yeah, so I must have done uh, two backings. And then there's this uh, pinup. Oh, it's like one of those uh, work tables where you you uh, repair and upgrade your weapons, I think. And it looks like there might be a, a 
a set of VR equipment, maybe? Uh, helmet or goggles, and then boots, and then the monitor that says level up. The back side of these uh, postcard size things is blank. I kind of think when it comes to like postcards or prints that it should have something on the back, either branding or a little description of what you're looking at or something about the character in the book. So that's more lethal. Uh, let's see this other small one. <laughs> uh, it's in an envelope. This might be related. All right, so this is from Mandy Summer. So there's a chance it might be the uh, next month, the current month's uh, YouTube channel membership uh, trading card. You can get trading cards by uh, subbing to, I mean, becoming a, a channel member for Mandy Summers. He's got this cute little dinosaur sticker coming out of an egg. It's all glittery. Um, I don't have an actual letter opener. So I'm just going to use a, well, actually I do somewhere. Uh, but I don't have it out. So I'm just going to try and carefully open it with scissors. All right. Yep. Oh, okay. Member exclusive promo card. So it's in a top loader. And uh, it's of uh, Omega Atlas, created by Mandy Summers, artwork by Peter Gilmore. On the back side, it's got details which is cool. I like having additional information on the back sides of these things. It says uh, Mandy Summers, so it's got our logo, YouTube, card 04, member exclusive promo card. And it, it has the stuff that I read to you earlier, Omega Atlas, created by Mandy Summers, artwork by Peter Gilmore. Then it has her website, mandysummers.com, uh, superdeadcomic.com, also has your YouTube channel. Oh man. I wish I'd have thought to have updated my channel address to make it a little even simpler. Um, and then it says Super Dead Copyright 2020, Mandy Summers, LLC, all rights reserved. Wow. Pro level. Yeah. Omega Atlas from Super Dead. Cool. Looks like it's got a glossy finish. Okay, what do we have here? I've gotten stuff from this uh, company before, but I don't remember who it's associated with. So it's very minimal damage. It looks like bent corners. So hopefully there's no, hopefully it doesn't affect the finished product inside. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, if you want to hop in, Matanui, feel free. Just click on the link. Oh, all right. All right. So inside, big envelope, is a size smaller envelope. And then taped to it was this with uh, tape. It's 
scotch tape. Oh, okay. All right, I don't know how easy or hard it'll be to see this, but uh, you see this image of Vampirella? Uh, Matanui says, my mic's terrible. You'd never be able to hear me. Okay. You want to get yourself a mic when you get a chance. Uh, like Christine Venner. So that image is printed on this coin. And the coin is in a little case. It comes with a stand as well. And the little card inside is a certificate of authenticity. So we have a Vampirella coin. It looks like it's a gold plated coin. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Vampirella has blood dripping from her lips and there's also blood on the skull, so. And on her hand. I don't quite understand the story behind it because Typically, you'll you'll be sucking the blood from uh, a live organic being and not um, a skeleton or a skull. Okay. So, opening the package that came inside. Oh, let me double check something. Did I link it here? Alright, so inside the inner pouch, whoops, I forgot to jump back to StreamYard. Uh, yo, hey Joe Frago, hopefully Joanna doesn't show up and ruin the chat with thoughtery. <laughs> uh, you're welcome to hop in if you like. So inside looks like this. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so it's two loose uh, cardboard inserts. And then inside the cardboard inserts. All right, let me see, how's, how's this work? Um, oh, okay, all right, I think I got it. Um, I believe the name of the artist is L Lucio Paria. He's, I think, an Italian painter, traditional painter. Um, this is Vampirella. You can see a figure in the... Oh, actually, she's holding on to, uh, I think, a decapitated head. And blood is dripping down her body. And then there's a signature. And then we have a black and white print, uh, black and white cover with grayscales. And then you've got a virgin cover without any of the branding. Without branding, letters, names. And then they put in a separate 
bag and board, the trading card. The trading card version of the cover. Let me see what it says on the Oh yeah, there all right, there we go. I don't know if you'll be able to see it any better. It's pretty sweet looking. Then on the back side it says Vampirella Dynamite Lucio Parillo crowdfunder collectors training card exclusive premium promo card vampirella is a registered trademark of and all logos characters their distinctive likenesses names and related elements or trademarks of diamond entertainment dynamite dynamite entertainment dynamite and dynamite inter oh trademarks of dynamite entertainment dynamite in quotes and dynamite entertainment in quotes are cut restricted and the DE logo in quotes is trademarked and copyright copyrighted 2020 dynamite entertainment all rights reserved printed in the USA 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 Uh, let me see something. She something. These are uh, closed up with uh, <laughs> regular scotch tape. It's not the types of bags that have the self adhesive. Hello, how's it going? Meh. Meh. You're having well, a mud day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thought I'd come in and see how you're doing. Yeah, hey, you don't have to hide me. Well, I'm trying to show off this book. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Just like all my talk about it, space station. Cool interiors, nice and neat, nice lettering. Oh, some advertisements. Green Hornet. As I remember, the Green Hornet uh, comics were pretty decent. Are you doing some uh, penciling or? No, coloring? just tired. It sounds like you just woke up. No. That would make things a little more functional. No, I've been up since 5 a.m. No, oh, man. I, I got up around 6 a.m. and I was just laying there in bed. And, you know, I hopped back on social media like a goober. And, uh,. I kept telling myself, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to bed, sleep another couple hours, and then get back up to do my 8 a.m. stream. But that didn't happen. I ended up staying up all that time, so I didn't get in that extra sleep I would, said I was gonna get. Uh, I got another package also from DFI. Mm -hmm. I guess that stands for what? Dynamite something international, maybe? Oh, maybe uh, di uh, Dynamite Fulfillment. Something or other. Oh, interesting. I wonder if it's a different project. Uh, this was, I guess, before Dynamite started turning on Comic Skate. Dynamite is insane. Um, I, I still feel like I was ahead of this, everybody on that. I knew they were crap from the beginning. Oh, really? I didn't know. I was like, you know, 
It pays to be a cynic that thinks everybody fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, you're so, often right. So we got. I know that's terrible. What I just said, isn't it? Not necessarily. This this is almost. I wonder if this is actually a, a formal Gemini mailer. Sure looks like one. There's crumple zones on both ends. Uh, it's just kind of bent inward. You can, well, I don't know if you can really see it from there. Mm -hmm. It's like there's like a crease all the way over here. It's kind of bent inward. Oh man, I, I I'd been I was watching till late at night. Uh, Piper stream, the the fuck it show, number seven I think, and that was like, oh damn, all that drama. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I kind of said something to you, by the way, on private chat about this morning. I think there was uh, a little bit. Um... Oh. Welcome, Aid Bitch Shinobi. How's it going? If you're interested, you can hop on the panel. Yeah, don't worry. We don't bite. Well, he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, he, and I'm one he can always boot if I bite too much. This is a legit Gemini mailer. I just gotta keep working. I don't know how fucking tired I am. Working, 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 raw hide. So it looks like I. It looks. Wait, is this the same cover too? It is. All right. I backed it twice. Interesting. I think sometimes I, I back something, then I forget I backed it, and I don't take the time to research if I already backed it. So this one, I'm going to go full screen again. We got another set of these. This time around, this set did not include a coin. I'm surprised I didn't order a coin in this batch. But I got that, which is the version cover with the signature on the bottom of the page. The black and white or grayscale with the signature on the bottom. Note that this, those signatures are both in silver Sharpie, I guess. And then we've got the regular cover with the signature on the bottom, but instead of silver, it's uh, it's either gold or it's either gold or um, hey, welcome. How's it going? How's it going? It's going. It might be bronze. That's what it might be. Yeah. Uh, Frog of you the you have this. Fix your boxes on your stream, doofus. If uh, Frog, here we go. Frog, if you're free, feel free to jump in. And then I got a cover, I mean, a trading card again. Same Sweet. one. Basically. Yeah. Lu uh, Lucio Parillo is uh, a really cool artist. I, I love his paintings. Let's see. We're already halfway through everything. I was going to stall a little because I was going to see if Unhinged Entertainment was free to swing on by because couple of his packages are here. Okay. You're a very odd man, wise guy. <laughs> Not possible. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not odd. <laughs> You're eccentric. <laughs> no, 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 no. He is not rich enough to be eccentric. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's legit. 
Uh, uh, I'm not about to instigate a full scale. Give me a second. Meanwhile, not... such a subtle shirt, right? Uh, live fast, die red. <laughs> the red shirt. I, uh, speaking of shirts, I, I'm wearing something from Carla, oh, well, actually, White Cat Comics, Carla Tornielli. However, and... I am feeling self-conscious today, so, boom. Ha-ha. <laughs> uh, Carla Tornielli and John Gallagher's uh, White Cat Comics. Grim Reaper 2, one of the things I got was a tank top from them with some of her artwork. Hello, Christine Venner. Good to have you back. Oh, damn. Hey. I only went to make coffee and a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm four packages in already. So I'm about to start on the uh, fifth. I don't know if uh, Jason is it Bascom. I keep, I keep mixing up the Jasons. Bascom does... Unhinged Entertainment's Absolute, number one. And Jason Krager does Hammer. Uh, Ragnarok. Uh, Hammer uh, post Ragnarok story. Um, who's this from? Oh, Art T. Bear. Hack Shack Studios, Inc. <laughs> uh, didn't realize his company was Hack Shack Studios. No, uh, looks to, an to answer Christine there, I didn't do the black and white. I took the photo. The black and white was done by Shrikamedia, and then I'm doing the colorizing and inking on it. Wow, that's amazing. So it's a combination work. Um, I actually have some... One sec here. Switch cameras real quick some finish that shows what it looks like when you combine them in style. Oh, man. Is that one finished? Oh, that is cool. I like the, the blending of the colors. Hey, welcome, Sam. Uh, hey, Sam. See? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. So it's all projects. It's all work getting done. Feel free to hop on, Tim. Oh, Lord, he's trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, picked up his uh, latest copy of uh, the uh, Natverse and the, um, what was it, the uh, Blood Hunt. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Did you receive it already? Uh, no, I don't think he, uh, I think he's still in demand. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Uh, Christine says, uh, that looks fantastic, Rosetta. And uh, let's see. Christine a uh, asks, is that going to be a print for your campaign? Please say yes. Looking more like, you know, like retro postcard kind of stuff and things like that. Some simple, small arts of them and things. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Rosetta. Sims never in my chat. Boo. <laughs> Shame on you, Sim. Uh, <laughs> Shame on you. I've been there for you. Uh speaking of campaigns, we uh we just finished building our first arcade cabinet. We got the frame done. My brother's already programmed it. He's just gotta finish it up, sand it, paint it, and then put everything in. Mmm. Nice. Do you have any uh, progress pictures by chance? Uh, not yet. Uh, my art, I uh, my artist is gonna be uh, working on. Oh, you mean for the uh, the arcade cabinets? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I I took a whole bunch of pictures. Um, what and I uh, put them on Twitter. Oh, you did. Yeah. I was, hey. Could you uh, do a shared screen to show it off? Oh, it's all on my phone. Oh, okay. All right. I, can, I, can I send it to your Twitter? Uh, I guess so. 
Yeah. And or or uh, or send them all to. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I guess you could. And then I'll probably yeah. have to save it to my hard drive and then open it in a picture viewer. Uh, uh, the book's still in demand for another two weeks, waiting on the colors to come in, and then we go to print. Uh, Sim uh, is responding back to Rosetta. Not true. I drop by sometimes. You just stream at the same time as others, lol. Never talked in my chat. Never spoken. Because I pay close attention to who's in the chat. Yeah. Christine Boo! <laughs> Christine's so excited to get the Natverse. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. There, I sent them off. All right, cool. Sweet. Oh. Watch it. Go watch your show, sweetie. Yeah, go sit down and watch it. Daddy's on stream. <laughs> Sorry, that's just I my little one. I thing, Sims, will prove it. <laughs> did you, uh, did you get the pictures? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, all right. All right, let me see if there's any quick way to... Is there a way in Twitter DMs to save multiple images all at the same time? No. All right. Twitter sucks. Yeah, it does. Let's yeah, I know. Crack, Let me find it. Uh, let's see here. Just up. Don't make me get saucy, Sim. <laughs> I, I'm so well behaved usually. Don't make me be the encouragement for me to misbehave. <laughs> you should figure out by now you're just going to get tortured here. This is how we were all. Yep. Twatter is that cheap hoe you use because you can't get anybody else to do the job. I mean, <laughs> not that I'm an opinionated person, mind you. Sim says it's lies. I did. Fake news. <laughs> There's fake news everywhere. Yeah, Christine agrees with Rosetta. It's not yeah, true. prove it, Sim. It's not so fondly known as twatter in my house. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. Do, 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 do. Welcome, Dillard. How's it going? What's going on, guys? Welcome to the party. So I just woke up. Oh, all right. Cool. I'm drinking heavily. Mata Nui says, I didn't even hear what she said. You hear what who said? Boy, I feel listened to. <laughs> As well you should. Fucking men. So I hear you're opening boxes. What happened? Yeah. Have I'm you got stuff? I'm, I'm, I'm pausing. What the heck? How come it's didn't it move us? Sure. He gets. He gets. Would it be easier if I just put it up, posted it on my wall, and then just sent you the link? Uh, I think I'm getting there. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I probably should have done it. Oh, well, never mind. I just thought of another thing I could have done. So, is is this 
someone you've hired to build these cabinets or are you actually building it or are you working with someone else and building it? It's, it's actually my brother, my uh, partner. He, uh, he's done everything. So I just helped him like position the wood while he screwed it in and <laughs> cut the pieces. Are you laughing at the word wood? No, I'm laughing at the idea of helping position the wood. <laughs> <laughs> she said, he said wood. <laughs> I'm a uh, uh, good girl. <laughs> uh, all right, let me see. All right, now let's go back over here. over here oops oh um are are these all jpegs um uh, they're they're from the camera that I took uh, I just put them on my phone. I, I think they are. I oh yeah, they are JPEGs, but for some reason they tack on uh, the word "small" at the end of the the extension of the file name. That's what's going on. That's why. Well, hey, there are some things in life that need an announcement if they're small or not. <laughs> and back to my artwork. <laughs> what is it you're working on, uh, Wenji? Eagle art for my photo book I'm doing. Oh, okay. Are you coloring it traditionally? Is it going to be scanned in, like, colored? This is hand done, yeah. I am not a digital artist. I don't work with me. <laughs> Except for taking photography. I can do photography digital style. <laughs> yeah, it's good. The, the machines will take over, so we got to do everything by hand. <laughs> well, hey, as long as the machine overwards. Never mind. I Never won't that. say that on Wise Guy's channel. That's too inappropriate. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're not uh, referencing some battery-operated machines. <laughs> Share application window. So when the uh, the entire the entire economy tanks and everything goes back to rural days, do you feel like you have the skills to uh, actually live? I grew up in the mountains. <laughs> there we go. I'm good. I was thinking about even just we were talking like on one of the streams last night about like just even doing how learning how to do basic things. I, I think I'm gonna just die of starvation and thirst. Oh, don't worry. I won't charge you too much money to save your ass. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> of course, depending on what your view of too much is. Uh, now, I'm a mountain girl. I grew up rural, h hiking, adventuring, and hunting, and all that. So, I'm good like, there. Like as soon as I, I finish all my my cans of like fruit, I, I don't know how I'm gonna get any kind of food whatsoever. I don't know how to grow food. Uh, so you haven't invested. Okay. You haven't invested in those uh, packs of uh, the equivalent of MREs uh, meals no. for you to eat. No, like, you know when that you know remember when that that toilet paper uh, uh, epidemic was going on? Uh -huh. Like my wife lost her mind and she was like, she was telling me like every time I got paid, I needed to vote like twenty percent of my check to prepping. So I so we ended up with like a storage like food storage about like six feet tall, Ooh. three three feet long, but like four feet wide. Uh huh. So we got just a ton of cans of of different kinds. Of, but once that's gone, what do I do? Like you can't grow stuff. Like, not enough to eat. And if you, know, you do, like, what are you going to eat? Like, just corn? Unless you, <laughs> unless you develop, a, like, a hydroponic system where you can grow indoors. Right. And I don't even like fish. 
Um, well, I mean, the thing about the like MRE uh, supplies is you can get like two or four week supplies in uh, this big old bin or something. Mm-hmm. That's uh, air watertight. Okay, I just point out he's sitting here saying he doesn't even know how to do all this and stuff. I don't know what to do for fish. I'm sitting there going, I like to carve my own bow and arrow and fish by arrow. So <laughs> shooting them through the neck is kind of fun. I'm just saying. Huh. I've never I, done I'm, that I'm also, before. I'm also really bad at fishing, too. Like I, I can't <laughs> catch fish. <laughs> I fish all the time, like recreationally, but I'm not good at it. I enjoy I'm doing a it. girl. <laughs> yeah, I mean... If- if given uh, if given that scenario, how are we going to hunt for uh, macaroni and cheese? Yeah. Oh, you fucking lazy city folks! I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Like one of my favorite things, we have this place called Lytle Creek, not too far from me, and I love to go and just because it's a, it's a small stream, but you can hike up and down the stream, and there's multiple pools, and every you'll catch a little like you know little brook trout. And normally I'll take like a little frying pan set up and just fry up the fish while I'm up there. That's the only fish that I can enjoy because trout doesn't really have a strong fishy taste. So I I can handle that. But Mm. I mean, if everybody's, you know, if everything happens, you got to be worried about getting shot in the back for your stuff while you're trying to fish. (laughs) (laughs) That's why you fish with a weapon. Then you spin around if you hear something behind you and you have to aim at them. Uh, That's why you fish with a buddy. They're your lookout. <laughs> uh, well, you never look, never do stuff that involves fishing and hunting and being in the mountains alone. You need somebody to trip if the bear attacks you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you, yep, you need someone to run uh, that's slower than you. <laughs> you always need somebody that you can gimp out and ditch. Or so always, always have somebody going with you into the mountains that you don't like. Then if something attacks you, you just knock the legs out from under them and keep going. I, I uh, saw this really funny meme on uh, Bear Apocalypse. I will knee you, I will cap you in the knee, and cover you in honey. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. um, that sounds like a much milder, nicer version of what I used to think of I wanted to do to my ex. <laughs> uh, oh, I had a whole plan on how he was going to die in the mountains with the bears. What? And it was Alex Trebek? Yes, just a little bit ago. I hadn't even heard about that. It he popped up fight. about a half hour, hour ago. He was fighting cancer, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. First Sean Connery, now Trebek? Yeah. Shock at Trebek. I wonder if they plan on, if they already have a replacement in mind for Jeopardy. They probably did because they've known that he's had a failing health for a long time. Yeah. Christine Venner says, that's so weird. We were talking about the same thing last night. We were talking, what would we do if an atmospheric EMP went off and how would we were, would we survive with no electricity? Jim Cox says, Dillard draws, even if you don't have a big backyard, start growing things in your windowsill for now for practice. Yeah, you can even start with something like uh, herbs. Uh, or you can do that science experiment kids would do where you uh, take like an avocado seed and uh, suspend it with toothpicks in some water. Dude, I'm 275 pounds. How am I going to live off herbs? <laughs> hey, herbs you're not lighter than I am and deal with it. You can live on anything almost. Oh, man. Uh, I, I, all I know how to grow is corn because it basically grows itself. Um, One of the least healthy things to grow. Yeah, too bad you can't live, uh, survive off of bamboo because that thing grows like wildfire. Uh, well, I mean, I guess you can always stock up on uh, ramen noodles too, but that's Yuck. loaded with sodium. That's why those, uh, uh, those emergency meal packets seem more and more appealing because they, they've gotten better at making them more taste see, better. I'm not worried about sodium. I'm sodium deficient anyways. I'm worried about the fact that a lot of that stuff is loaded with freaking MSG and chemicals that react to me, you know? Yeah. 
Like I'm okay with eating. I'm okay with eating all that junk food. I'm just where where do I, where am I going to get it from? You know. Yeah. I'm not. I'm totally not. I don't eat it now, and I won't eat it then. I mean, I'm looking at I'm looking at the neighbor's dog, and I'm looking at this MRE. I'll eat that MRE. I don't care. <laughs> Wait, are you saying you will or won't eat the neighbor's dog? I mean, I'll do what I gotta do, but I, I prefer the junk food before I start killing dogs. Uh, Christine says, I doubt many people can make a fire, let alone hunt, gut, and skin an animal. Oh, I've done it. I've shot deer between the eyes easily. Oh. Uh, you'll, you'd be surprised how much you'll learn when you have to. True. Nice. Look, I grew up in the rural areas. I grew up in a freaking family that was in third world conditions. And, you know, if you're broke enough, you don't question if somebody in the family gives you a mystery package of meat that's unlabeled and you shoot whatever you can shoot to eat. Christine needs a stick string and shavings and kindling plus a platform. And she'll have a fire started in no time. Well, I can start a fire because I'm a smoker and I have uh, lighters galore all over the house. <laughs> I've invented fire. <laughs> Having a lighter and actually starting a true fire are not the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> just to Maybe. boost, crush your ego just a little bit extra. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Edwin. How's it going? Uh, Christine says, I, gr I do grow potatoes, tomatoes, and a few other things. Uh, rice and beans are cheap. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> rice goes a long way. And beans are very filling. Not all things that are cheap are things you want. Just Never mind, I won't make that joke here either. <laughs> uh, stack them deep like ammunition and magazines. Yep. <laughs> I don't have that. I only I only have like realistically I'm only good with one gun that I have. Like I have a couple of guns, but I'm I don't go to and have range time enough to be good with any of them. The only thing I'm actually really good with is my little twenty two repeater. Because it don't you know, you can't miss with that thing. It's like a BB gun. Oh mm -hmm. I'm I'm good with weaponry. Much I'm not. Uh, Christine says, I think you guys will be okay. Us Brits don't have guns. We would have to make bows and arrows, lol. I dropped the link for you guys if you want to join in. And even my BB gun, it was like, we would go, me and my dad, because he was like a handicap, and huh? we would like drive around in the car, and he would just shoot the BB gun out the window and shoot rabbits, and then we'd barbecue them. Oh, wow. I, I played awful. the fifth on how many weapons I have and how I've used them, okay? I played the fifth. <laughs> yeah, don't government doesn't need to know. Yeah. Um, so I'm sharing right now. Oh, I'm sharing some photos from Eight Bit Shinobi. Uh, this was, uh, I think you called it a, a frog's uh, frog cock. Frog, frog juice frog from frog. the uh, movie Lost Boys. Oh, I did it based off of the concoction he made, which is holy water garlic and raw egg but i jazzed it up because it's a cocktail i made a honey garlic uh mixture and then i um i put in um a bunch of green cock green sweet cocktails and you're i did drinking um, cocktails with holy water you're going to hell for sure or <laughs> I will point hey, out. The Lord, oh, wait, wait, wait. The Lord I will point out. Wine. I will point out biblically. It does not say that drinking is a sin. It says that overindulgence is a sin. There yeah. is actually a reference where Jesus says he'll drink of the vine in heaven, which was a phrase for drinking wine. So, just saying. <coughs> All right. And that's from the girl who's never drank in her life. I just happen to actually know this stuff. Christine says we got air rifles. Gas powered one would probably do the job. Damn. Yeah. An in entertainment. Welcome, Jason. You're just waking Welcome. up. <laughs> uh, I dropped the link for anyone who wants to hop in that I recognize. Uh, all right. So, Actually, uh, checking out some imagery of these cabinets, homemade cabinets. Oh. Cool, man. And are these the traditional full size cabinets or those? Yeah, that are becoming it's the full size. 
And we use uh, we use the quality buttons and joysticks, like the high end stuff. All right. And um, we or we ordered it. I uh, spoke to the company that has them. If we order it in bulk, we we get like a special discount. That's why we're able to get the best quality ones for nice. the joysticks and the buttons. Yeah, you got to score the great deals wherever you can. Yeah. Hmm. What's a joystick and a button for a cabinet? Like the uh, the arcade joysticks. And, and oh, you're the, building uh, you're building a oh you're building yeah. like arcade cabinets. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking like kitchen cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that too, and we could put the screen in there and the buttons. <clears throat> Uh, Jim Cox is uh, questioning the choice of garlic. I like garlic on my pizza, <laughs> not so much in my drink. It actually tastes better than I thought. I thought I was gonna vomit, but because I added uh, I added uh, honey to it, uh -huh. and then I put the sweet liqueurs in it, it actually counterbalanced the uh, the the garlic flavor. All right. Yeah, honestly, dude, I really don't drink the entire year except for between Thanksgiving and Christmas because then I get, you know, unlimited eggnog. You want that one? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I can't handle I, – I'm not, I'm not a – I'm kind of like a, a sissy when it comes to, like, that, that hit of that, that I mean, liquor. I don't want I like, you on the stream, so. It's just I, I like the smooth taste of that, that rum and, and eggnog. And mm -hmm. I have never drank. Wow. I never rarely – Never done drugs. I smoked to marijuana once, but I did not inhale. Okay, Clinton. <laughs> uh, the last the last time I did anything was when they made weed legal. We had these edibles, and uh, my brother got sick off of him. We had to take him to the hospital. Well, and I was just uh, laughing my ass off. <laughs> Yeah, it's always funny when it's someone else. <laughs> yeah, so I dropped the link in chat for anyone who wants to hop in. Uh, I have something from Art, Art T. Bear and his company, Hack Shack Studios, Inc. It says, uh, do not bend. And then when you first open it, it's a Gemini mailer. Taped to just the inside. It's uh, <laughs> what's boring um, is uh, three buttons here. So it's kind of interesting. I guess it's you, you uh, have it held on with one piece of tape, and then I guess the pressure of the clothes. Daddy's live right now. Okay. Oh, we got three buttons. Three different buttons. We're going to go outside in a bit. You want to go outside? I need you to listen. Let's sit down. I agree, Christine. It's cool the way you do that. You don't even print the comic. Yeah, I've had a, another campaign where because of the way it was packaged, uh, the backside of the button actually pushed in. There were dents on the three posters that were included. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. And it was very minor puncture, but I didn't ask for a, a replacement because they no. overall they were fine. Uh, this should be white. Yeah. So what's on the buttons? Uh, this one is uh, the the character's black and white. It's hard to show with oh, okay. the quality of camera. Uh -huh. Let me see. This one is the logo for black and white. The union symbol with the target. And another of black and white 
Oh, cool. Hey, hey Rich and Toby, do you want to uh, tell uh, Dillard a little more about Yeah, sure. So uh, basically, uh, it's uh, we're looking to create an arcade bar that has video games, arcades, pinballs, board games, and a comic book library of indie comics. And we're also working on our first comic book called Oh Nice. The comic book is called Oh Nice? I, I just saw that and it just took me out of my train of thought. <laughs> train, train wreck, whatever. Yeah, it's just, everything's a train wreck in 2020. <laughs> you can't blame the year on the fact that your brain doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the book is called uh, Paranormal um, Academy. It's about um, these mystical uh, creatures they live in another dimension. So like all your sor wizards, sorcerers, spirits, vampires, they all live in this other dimension. And what happened was that once they left that dimension, all the evil in the mortal world was seeping into their world. So they started creating an academy to train the next generation to combat the evil in the mortal world, in their worlds. And we also have another book called Nerdy Cocktails and How to Make Them. So <laughs> I'm actually uh, doing some special packages with the, uh, the book. So you can get the book and the cocktail shaker. And then we're going to put a package with the book and the comic book and the cocktail shaker. We're also, um, we also got the cabinets. We're going to be uh, doing more different types of cabinets. We're going to be doing the mini cabinet that could uh, sit on a table. It's a smaller one. We're going to have the regular size cabinet. And then we're going to have the uh, larger 32-inch cabinet with, with the four players. And then Ooh. we're going to have add-ons like uh, the, LE, uh, the LED buttons and uh, joysticks. So you can have joysticks that glow. We, we're going to put add-ons like wheels. So when you um, when you're moving your cabinet, it it just moves easy. Nice. Hey, uh, would you do us a favor, uh, Christine Vinner, uh Missed the name of the first book you were talking about. What was the name of the first book? Can you repeat that? Awkward. Are you there? Yep. Are you talking to me? Yeah. What was the name of the first book you, you guys are making? Uh, it's called Paranormal Academy. Paranormal Academy. All right. Yeah. And right now our trailer has uh, one of the characters, uh, Kitsune the Fox Spirit, on it. I have one panel up already. My artist is making more panels with the, uh, the character Blue. The uh, the Elven Prince who's blue. That's why he's called Blue, and he's gonna be one of one. Those two are gonna be my my big char big main characters, and then we're gonna have other characters. The um, Allison, the uh, the mage. She uh, she's a mage that has all these crazy powers. There's the Nero, the necromancer, or in the um, the White Goblin mage. And uh, the golem, who um, he's a kid who um, who's um, unable to walk, and he he found this magical golem that enables him to walk and control the earth. Control the earth. Yeah. By controlling what the magnetism of the pole. Are you talking like controlling the entire Earth? Or are you talking about like Captain Planet Earth? Kind of almost like Earth bending. You know where they move the the ground, like in Avatar. Huh. Hmm. 
does he ride the golem? He's inside of it. It's kind of like a suit of armor ah, out of, made out of rock. And then there's other characters, other teams that they they uh, they meet throughout uh, the various books. But the first book is about the team getting together, and then um, and then once the book the series progresses, they start going on adventures. Oh, I see. Cool. Christine says uh, it sounds like a really fun book. Yeah, I have the uh, the first trailer up. The next trailer is going to be uh, coming in December. We're going to have a lot more art and some cool surprises coming along. Is there any place where I can see this? Yes, it's on our Indiegogo campaign. Uh, I sent you the link. Do you want me to send it to you again or put it in the chat? Put it in the chat if you would. Okay. Uh, Called the uh, Indiegogo Paranormal Academy. Yeah. But isn't that built into your main campaign for the arcade bar? Yes, it is. It's in there. We just added it. We um, I came into uh, a little bit of money, so we're going to be able to do some of the uh, the panels before the campaign ends. Oh, good. So we were able to put in this campaign like I originally wanted. Awesome. And I also have the new trailer up. This is the one that was updated 16 hours ago? Yes. Okay. Uh, while you were talking, I've been sharing the covers for Black and White. There's a few more <clears throat> tchotchkes that I received that I still have yet to show. Christine comments, that's a beautiful cover. Uh, I hope Art brings out another issue of Black and White. I want to get on that campaign. Uh, uh, I'm going to dip out for now. I'm supposed to be on an art stream later. And okay. I'm very, very tired today. <laughs> well, thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I always enjoy having mm. you. Just remember um, the link for Tilt 2 because they've still got some of the original artwork for me and Vic on it. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. I uh, I dropped the link for your Eagles book. Uh, My mailing I, list. I dropped uh, the link for the buckler from uh, Dillard. And oh, yeah. That's live now. Oh, there, there's a... Uh, I gotta get. I gotta pick up the. All right, hold on. You have um, the link for Tilt Two. I should have the link for Tilt Two, but I think I need to get the updated link for the Buckler. Off How about I just throw it in the back in case? That'll work. And I got a dip, so. All right. I'll talk thank you, you very much. All thank right. You. Thanks. Bye. 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 All right. Here's Tilt Two. That's funding right now. And then let's see the buckler. The buckler. Oh, oh, oh. The buckler. The buckler. Buckler. Yeah, that, that thing's chugging along right now. We opened up uh, yesterday. No, yeah, day before yesterday. Because we had a five hundred dollars uh, flexible goal, all right, and we were able to get that funded the first the first day. Oh my oh. gosh! Dang. Sweet, congrats! Oh, yeah. Thank you. And uh, right now, I think it's sitting at sixteen hundred. Right on. Yeah, I saw all the, all this news that you guys got fully funded. That's really exciting. Let me see if this. URL is working. Just waiting for it to load. And we finally got the video made. For, oh, man, it was terrible. I, I had to stay up. I was so nervous before I went <laughs> with the thing. I stood up for like 30 hours just noodling. around. Was, everything was done, but I was like not 100% convinced that it was perfect enough. So I was like just messing around with tweaking stuff. Oh, wow. 
I wonder if it will get much traction because people won't find it if they search for the name of the book. Um, if you type in the buckler, it don't come up? Um, I know in the past, I, all right, I found it this time around. Uh, previously, it was kind of a pain in the rear because it was pulling up other things that included the word buckler. But uh, it looks like I've got a current link now, which I'm going to drop in chat. Oh, we got another. We got another backer. We're at one thousand seven hundred and sixty-three now. Sweet, nice. nice. That's a good thing to wake up to. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let me see what they got. Let me see what they backed. <laughs> okay, it was the uh, the novel plus the ash can, plus the original sketch art. Nice. And we did sell last night. We sold one of the, the $300 tiers, which was the book, plus a page of original artwork. Oh, cool. Right on. That's great. Where did you do the, your launch? I mean, did you... Uh... On my channel. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah. I don't got a lot of viewers and all that, but, you know, it was, it was fun. I invited everybody that I knew. There was a bunch of people there. We were all having fun, hanging out. Oh, cool. Awesome. Now uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, wait, huh? Oh, uh, Christine, are you saying that you're looking for the link for Paranormal Acti Academy? I can yeah, send that I again. Didn't, I didn't find it at Indiegogo, but I did find the YouTube uh, trailer. Do you, want the, uh, do you want me to put the Indiegogo in the, uh, the link? Yeah, please. Yeah. Now, the arcade bar is uh, campaign on Indiegogo is the same as the uh, the book, right? Or yeah, it, the book is like it, a subset of it. One of the perks or tiers. Yeah, it's uh, one of the perks. Uh, we also uh, the uh, the nerdy cocktail book has a specific cocktail for the. Um, from the comic book. All right. So, so if you get both, you can get the uh, the cocktail on how to make the uh, Foxfire cocktail, which is actually um, you set the drink on fire. So it's actually like a fiery drink. It's pretty cool. Welcome, Jason. Hello. Entertainment. Welcome. Hello. Hello. So... Uh, Christine says that was for paranormal activity. I was saying I couldn't find paranormal Ac oh academy. Par I couldn't find paranormal academy. It's on a completely different campaign. I'm trying to find out about page count, etc., but no info at the moment. Okay, let me let me pull this up. Uh, that's why I was saying it's hard to find. It's a perk on a completely different campaign. So this arcade bar, is this something you're going to try to open up like uh, like to the public for business? Yep, that's what we're trying to do. But in the meantime, with uh, until everything can be fully open, we're, uh, we're offering mobile services for parties so people can have, uh, have an arcade in their house to play. So like gaming rentals and stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. Those things are getting pretty popular now. Every, every party I go to, somebody seems to be uh, renting out one of those video game uh, trailers where all the kids can go sit inside and play video games. Yeah, and we have all games under the sun. Like, I have virtual reality. I have retro. I have new. But do you have Altered Beast? Oh. I do not have that yet. That's it a fun is. game. That's a fun <laughs> game. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> What, sis what system was that on? I was on a bunch, but it was mainly Genesis, yeah. yeah. Uh, then we probably do have it. Because Altered Beast and Golden Axe, those, those are my favorite games. Oh, we got Golden Axe, too. My, uh, oh, Golden Axe, nice. And you can, all the, uh, the uh, retro consoles can be put on the arcade. So that you can have over uh, 20, 000, up to 20,000 games preloaded to the arcade and it can also come with all the consoles. so anything from nintendo all the way to uh, dreamcast 
can be put on the uh, arcade unit. Oh, nice. So check this out. I'm going to share my screen real quick. Uh, sure. Speaking of speaking of Golden Axe, um, let me see. Share. There we go. Um, we were we were we were thinking about making a. Uh, we were thinking about making a video game, a side-scrolling beat 'em up video game, and we we modeled it. This is it right here. Oh my gosh! The game level. <laughs> oh wow! And, and it's the cool. same exact layout as uh, Golden Axe, the first level, if you can tell. <laughs> but it's uh, <laughs> it, but we just changed the backgrounds to make it work for uh, the buckler. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's cool, gonna be man. super cheesy. Like it's the, he's only gonna have like three sprites, like a walking sprite, <laughs> a punching. You know what I mean? That kind of stupid thing. <laughs> Trying to make it real simple, but it uh, it's coming out pretty good. It's, it's chugging along. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, oh, Christine Benner, hey. hey, is saying hi to you. And hey, she's saying wow about the <laughs> side scroller <laughs> background. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that, that was pretty funny. So you're purple. actually working on a video game for the uh, your campaign? Not for the campaign, just as an additional thing for later on down the road. Okay. Because it's, like, cool. it's it's pretty simple. They have these engines now where it's almost it's it still takes a while, but it's it's almost you know plug and play kind of deal. Just plug in your sprites and makes the game for you. Well, if you get it done, let me know. We could put it on a cabinet and get the artwork for you, and we could collaborate. Oh yeah, absolutely. That'd be fantastic. That would be because yeah. cool. that thing took all my the Golden Axe and uh, the Golden Axe and that four player X Men game in the arcade. Oh yeah, uh, yeah th that thing that. took all my money. That, that, my entire childhood allowance probably went to those games. And the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The best thing about our arcade is it's like a five dollar um, cover, and you can play as much as you want. That's pretty reasonable. Yeah, that's pretty Hello. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I got to go. My sister's calling. All right. All right. Take Thank care. You. Thanks for coming All on. Right, later, man. Plastic cup, mini pixels. Pixel. The mini pixels are pretty cool. Pixel art. Uh, tile art. Oh, I think that's supposed to say art. Uh, oh, I need to fix that. <laughs> beauty. What is that, Beauty and the Beast or something? Beauty. Yeah, she's got a whole collection of uh, of tiles from different series. Doctor Who, Deadpool, Captain, Captain America. America. You got Spirit Face Mask, T-shirt, How to Make Nerdy Cocktails. That's actually a book, right? A physical yeah, book. it's actually a book. And then you got Large Pixel, Paranormal Academy. All right, there's a book. Paranormal That's a book. Academy issue. Um, does the does the movie trailer, uh, the campaign? Tra oh wow, cocktail shaker and book. That that's uh, good branding. Uh, hoodie, custom arcade. Wow. Wow. Uh, mom, 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 mom. Does the promo video also d talk about the book? Uh, it talks a little bit about the book, but the uh, the Paranormal Academy trailer has uh, more of the uh, the artwork that we uh, have. Okay. I can drop that in the the chat again. Well, that, that trailer right there is for uh, the Paranormal Academy uh, book. Oh, okay. Uh, para. Oh. Normal Academy trailer. Oops. Where? Oops. Oh, holy crap. Am I sharing this in the wrong spot? Oh, look what you're doing there. All right. So what's going on? Oh man! Was it really funny with you? Um, Twitch is uh, got spam bots, and yeah. I haven't gotten the hang of how to block them. Uh, 
They don't seem to make it easy. Mod view, chat settings, mod view. And it seems like if you're in regular uh, in user mode, uh, you don't have any controls right there. And then when you go to, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who said that? Uh, J, Google, FTW, and the string of numbers. FTW? Yeah, for the win. No, that's not what that means. Uh, that's not F what that means. F, F this <laughs> window. <laughs> Yeah, the world, man. Oh. Yeah. oh, is that right? Interesting. Yeah, yeah well, I don't. It's not the title of the song. But... Daddy. So, how's everybody's weekend? So far, so good. Ah, it's always good. Mm -hmm. up late uh on a stream actually i got to jump in with uh shane davis that was pretty fun oh, oh really? nice yeah i think i know the back of it that was cool but uh i ran out of stickers which as i told him like hey man i ordered more stickers so don't refund please if you're gonna get your stuff <laughs> so <laughs> All right, so figure that out next time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Christine said that's very reasonable indeed. Uh, Dan, that custom arcade is pretty sweet. It is sweet. You'll cool. never leave your basement again. <laughs> <laughs> Who says uh, I do now? That's where all my ladies are. <laughs> uh, Christine says, okay, cool. I have the YY link. I'll check it after this stream. YY hey, Okino Subway. How's it going? Hey, Okino Subway. Hey. Uh, I get weird porn bots comment on my streams after the end. Yeah, I get those too. It's like... You want to be friends? That's one of the scams. And then uh, I get one where they just drop a, a link to a porn site. No, they really do want to be your friend. Yeah, right. I got some weird email from my Indiegogo saying that there are some Japanese company that wants to invest after looking into my, my thing. But I'm like, it seemed a little fishy because... I got like a question mark that said they can't, that Gmail can't tell if this actually came from that address. Oh, okay. Interesting. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of that, but that's what happened to me. And I'm like, that seems a little fishy that they can't substantiate that it's a valid email. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Christine says, I remember the first day as, AKA heels, versus babyface streamed that was a whole 20 minutes of racially charged spam bots lol uh, um, I like heels. Uh, he's, he's, I like you've uh, seen the ones you were talking about kino subway they just want people to click for the saucy avatar to divert them to their channel yep oh okay all right it, she meant to say she got the link to the YouTube trailer that I got after the stream. Madden Nui says they're annoying. Uh, yeah, the trading sucker and poor lonely guys. Yeah. Lonely. Okay. So let's check out more of black and white. So I came with a little insert. A thank you for uh, supporting the campaign it is thanks to people like you that uh, we're able to create this content and then here's uh hmm. 
So three of the three of the books were in bags and boards. Am I? Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Oh yeah, they we're all in. The, uh, all right, these were all in a, like kind of a Ziploc bag. Oh, Matt Anui says, uh, it's, it's called spoofing. They mimic a legit address to try and get you to click something or give them sensitive info. Yep. Yeah, don't take the email as legit if Gmail can't verify it. True. Very good advice. I've yet to read that. Uh, I got mine, but I've yet to read it. This is cool artwork. I yeah. Love. Dude, our team yeah. is great. Yeah. The first time I read the email, I almost thought it was legit because I was half asleep. And part of me is like, yay, someone wants to invest in me. And then I looked again. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, every now and then I get an email from a supposed company who's interested in uh, – my being, I mean, they, they claim I'm a, an Instagram influencer, and it's like, yeah, right. People don't intentionally visit my Instagram. <laughs> it's like, uh, we want to work with you, uh, help promote our product, which is like so off brand from what I do. Um, it, it's like clothing or makeup or, or, uh, Unrelated stuff entirely. And this is like a small poster. Nice. And uh, then there's a bookmark, kind of a wide bookmark, black and white. She's pretty hot. Yeah. And then there's a guy for the ladies. I can't remember their names. Justice can only be. Black and white. Nice. Black and white remastered. And then it also came with this little packet of stuff here. That's cool. He separates it. That's that's a good idea. Yeah. You got to keep them separated. <laughs> separated. Hey, hey, you're under 18. You won't be doing any time. Hey, <laughs> come out and play. <laughs> I saw them, saw them live, uh, 90, 1997. Wow, did you really? Yep. Nice. Pretty cool show. Uh, let's see here. Damn, I really hope Art does another black and white campaign. I only heard about it after the Second Chance campaign closed. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Uh, Comicsgate is expanding so rapidly that we might have at least four times the number of creators releasing books than we did just a year or two ago. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of content. A lot of good content, though. So we got a, a round sticker. A fight team. Uh, Christine says, Aw, aw. Hearing the chuckles are so cute. <laughs> yeah. So we had a trading card. Backside. Yeah, it's cool. Another trading card. Christine says, oh, that's sweet. And then you got the power levels and whatnot, the stats. Yeah, I like when people put uh, power levels on their uh, cards or some kind of, like, stats. I like that. What does the scouter say about the power level, Vegeta? <laughs> it's over 9,000. What? 9,000? <laughs> I like the, DB, the DBZ Abridged did one, and they're like, it's not 1,900. 1, 1, Kick his ass. Wait a second. I'm reading this thing backwards. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Nice. 
25 years of black and white. It's black and white. <laughs> it's white. It's it don't another, matter uh, if you're black or white. <laughs> oh, yeah. Check it out. That would be good in another one. Two patches. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. This is cool. Uh, MI-10, anti-robotics task force. And then, of course, you got the yin and yang. Uh, yeah, that's a cool symbol. That's sweet. Two patches, man. Usually, you, you, at most, you get one patch. Well, yeah, okay. they're not they're not the cheapest <laughs> thing to do. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah he'll probably do it in another black and white. That's his baby. All right. So, we got two packages. From a familiar, oh, who's that guy? Familiar logo. Please do not bend. Thank you. Yeah, I found if I put like a please and thank you on it, they tend to listen a little more. Yeah, you know, I despise when when you get it and it says please don't bend and it's actually bent. And you're like, <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, they didn't add the thank you though, so uh, it's not. They they were like, oh, I'm not thanked, so they bend it. <laughs> <laughs> they bend it like Beckham. Uh, <laughs> all those extras look so well finished. Yep. It it's over well. 900. Oh, that's <laughs> kick his ass, Napa. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bob Trump's was a favorite card game of me and my brothers growing up. Oh, wow. I got the patch from his Chrono book, and it's amazing quality. Yeah, the I Chrono patch is cool. I don't know if I got mine yet. Did it just start recently fulfilling, or did it fulfill a while back? Yeah, I got mine maybe a couple days ago. So, um, just, yeah, people are just so not getting them, so you'll get yours. Awesome. So, at most, there's a, a couple of tiny little pokes in the packaging. but Oh, it's the bubble mailer, so it should be good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if anything's damaged, I'll you know, obviously replace it. Uh, even a rich, even artwork. I'll give you more artwork. Yeah, and everything is damaged. What? Oh no! <laughs> uh, too bad. <laughs> how how did the mailman's have uh, over nine thousand power level? <laughs> <laughs> how is that possible? Yeah, my next campaign uh, could be a little more streamlined, more Gemini mailer friendly. <laughs> Those uh, envelopes, man, they're they're a pain. Absolute. I love, it. I love the, the effect. Look at all that, all these movies. And look how thick this is. Yeesh. That, that's that cardstock, man. That that hundred hundred pound cardstock interiors. That uh, it looks great. It feels good. It feels like an old school, you know, eight mid eighties black and white book in a way. It's, it's cool. So I got to ask, how are you feeling now that you uh, are fulfilling? Is it pretty exciting? Yeah, it, it's a relief actually. A lot of a. Uh, uh, stress off my shoulders now that it's pretty much 99% fulfilled aside from people, you know, backing now. Uh, it's, a, it's a big relief. Uh, I can squeeze in more stuff for my own stuff or other campaigns. I gotta, it, it's just, it's a big relief. But it's definitely uh, satisfying uh, seeing everybody get their book. So that's definitely, the exact right. That's one of the best parts of this whole thing. Is oh, yeah. Seeing everybody getting their books and the reactions and stuff like that is fantastic. And I'm glad people are liking them. Like people read it, that read them, they said they really like it. So that, that's a relief in itself. <laughs> yeah, it was it's a fun project. Uh, uh, let's see. So Christine says, oh, wow, I got the patch from his chrono book, and it's amazing quality. Uh, Black Queen, Kina Subway, got a bunch of stuff. That can't have to do anything. 
Uh, gonna have to do an unboxing too soon. Yep. Uh, Christine said, "Super strength, the ability to bend comics." <laughs> oh, I might, not, I might not watch this. Mine's on the way. <laughs> Does that make you a comic book bender that you could bend comics to your will? <laughs> <laughs> I want the surprise open, so I will look at the screen. <laughs> Don't abandon the stream. Well, wow, this is pretty hefty. This is pretty hefty. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Freddy Carter is cool. Pretty good. And there's the black and white in the color. Break a boom. Break a boom. Elliot. Uh, wall so cute. Do I have to call Santa? What? Do I have to call Santa? Card. Go sit down over there. Go on. You don't want to see uh, you don't want to see all the trading cards, Christine? <laughs> uh, you wanted to be a, a super surprise. When you uh, open it, well, it depends on what what perk you got with uh, certain trades. I think we have certain perks. That's uh, true. Perks. Yeah. So that's absolutely true. Oh yeah, here's your colorized yeah. version. Yeah, there's the there's the watercolored version. Yeah. Wow. Kino says that kid has a lot to say. Lol. I sometimes miss the days <laughs> my niece, my niece. Was a youngin. Oh, you you have, uh, you, have, uh, you have the stats on the backside. Yeah, the uh, Dungeons and Dragons stats. So you can play as that character if you play Dungeons and Dragons. So, are you supposed? Do you design it with the intent that people physically write on the back of the card? No, 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 because that's way too tiny for people to do that. I just have the basic stats, like uh, the strength and the dexterity and constitution and, like, their name and stuff, because uh, then you could just make up your own character sheet. With stats <laughs> and, yeah, and then, you know, we equip them how you want. So, yeah. That's cool. But I just want to still have it look like a uh, character sheet. So, yeah. Yeah, Shea Valkyrie. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, that's the, uh, yes. uh, the foil card. Yeah. The... Where the logo itself is. Uh, the logo is foil. Yeah. There's two foil versions. One of them is more rare than the other one. There's one that's all foil, and then there's one with the uh, just the word. Yeah. Um... It looks like I might have gotten two by accident. I don't remember. I don't know. No, no. The the one is all foil. So the or you got two foil ones? I think hey, so. Got, uh, yeah, you cool, man. I might have when I grabbed them. I might have accidentally grabbed two. So you got a bonus. Yeah, yeah. the one is just the absolute with the foil. The other one is all foil. So man, that's nice. Oh jeez, that's so great. Yeah, it came out great. Christine said, yeah, but I still want a surprise. <laughs> uh, I love opening new comics, taking in that beautiful new comic shine. And Ooh, the new comic smell. Yep. Oh, I Close love that eyes. new comic book smell. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Close your eyes and listen to the stream. Don't abandon. Don't leave us now. And then uh, we've got... Oh my gosh, she's oh oh my gosh, what the she's what happened? Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right. Well, like I said, it depends on what you back. <laughs> yeah, I mean how many freaking times did I back? <laughs> I started uh, losing I twice. But I think twice, but you you, you were a generous individual, so <laughs> yeah. all right, so this is the Variant. The variant cover. So cool. And it's summoned in. Is that gold Sharpie? Yeah. 
And then, aha. Uh -huh. All right. Oh. All right. You, you want to keep your eyes closed, Christine, because we got a poster. Nice. This is so cool. Thank you. Let's see. Alright, so that's the book. Then we got Then we got the uh, sketch cover where it's blank. So yeah. If you see me at a con or another artist, have them draw something. There you go. Dang. Have them All right, there we go. There you go. And then there's a Oh, wow. Thanks, oh, wow. Look how yeah, big the, that stickers. Yeah, the, the stickers and the trading card, the poster, those are in color. So, yeah, but that, uh, I wanted them to be a good size stickers, you know? So, uh, this is so neat. Are, they, are these intended to be regular stickers or are they? would they also work as car decals uh i wouldn't recommend them as car decals because they're not weatherproof uh but they kind of have that, that that like when you apply them somewhere they have that roll-on feel that that decal feel so mm. i put them up in my my work prints them and uh if people like them i'll keep doing them at my work uh but if they would prefer like if they don't like the way they go i'll, I'll go through like sticker mule or something like that um, what I can tell, they look perfectly fine to me. Well, it depends. Like uh, sometimes it's a little tough to peel them, so uh, that's um, mainly what the issue might be. So uh, I'll see the reaction and what people say, and get the. Well, I'm never going to be able to provide that kind of feedback, only because I, I don't plan on peeling off any of my <laughs> stickers. If, I, if there are campaigns that have. Uh, car decals i'll probably stick them on my car if they look really cool i, I might be doing decals uh next campaign i gotta, I gotta figure out something all right Let's see what it, uh, or window clings stuff like that and that's the patch look at that gee cool thanks oh man I, what a trip So um, I, I guess this is like the glue, so that yeah, if you want to do iron on, it'll yeah, stick. I did it with the iron on iron on backing as well. So because uh, not everybody like me can sew, yeah, I, I can't sew. So yeah, the iron on helps. Yeah, I can't sew either at <laughs> least <release> well. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if I can. Well, you know. What? Um, it's like I, I'm uh, I'm one of those people, like, whenever I used to get holes in my jeans and stuff, I try to sew them closed because I, mm. I, never, I never understood the torn jeans look. But uh, so I tried and sew them, but because, you know, you're dealing with a loss of material, it, uh, it results in everything looking pinched and scrunched together. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'm just no good at it. it looks like it's cardboard. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't use <laughs> <purpose cover>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nothing but professionalism here. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes I just cut up cardboard at my work and use that. It does the job. Yeah, and I ran out of cardboard here too. Whenever I was doing stuff, so which one you got? Yeah, that that is a actually a, a sneak peek character. You got a sneak peek character from book two. 
So you got a preview of what's to come. Oh my gosh. Meanwhile, Christine is saying, I'm not looking. La 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 la. <laughs> yeah, I had a good time doing her. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Is she, she's not the teleporter girl? No, no, no. This is, She's in the second book. You got a sneak peek character. Uh, oh, neat. Yeah, you got a preview of what's to come. What a trip. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it's the only one I did. Uh, wow. This camp, yeah, so. I was kind of hoping I'd get a sneak peek character, but I wasn't sure of my odds. All right, so that was the sixth of eight packages. Oh, wow. Here is package number seven, also from Unhinged wow. Entertainment. It looks like this one is in even better shape than the other one. <laughs> Good. Well, everything came up fine in the other one anyway, so I tried to make sure it would be safe. What what was your feeling when you first uh, 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 let me see? Kino Subway says you got a one of a kind, wise guys. Very nice. Yep. Lucked yeah. out. Um, so how did you feel when you first got the like the proof copy of uh, of your book, holding it in your hands for the very first time? Well, that's kind of a funny story. Uh, I, I actually didn't get the hard copy proof. I got it digital, but they they accidentally sent me my order, but not my order. So I got like 700 books uh, that were all mistakes, uh, but I still got to feel them and see like the, the only ones that had interiors were the one with the regular cover. The alternate covers have, were blank inside. So they shipped me all those. So I got a lot of books to destroy, but I was able to get at least, you know, the feel of the book, what it looks like and stuff uh, on the interiors from that mistake order. And it was a, definitely a thrilling, you know, it was a very exciting to see how they're going to be uh, presented. So did they, did they accidentally send you 700 more books than they should have? Oh, yeah. But like I said, they're unusable. There's mistakes on the interiors. So uh, I can't. Yeah, I got to destroy them. Mistakes? Really? Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, well, it's a tiny mistake, but it's something that I, I don't want any, you know, preferably. And it was just a little bit of blue line border around one of the uh, pages for the uh, uh, safety zone. And it's not noticeable, but it's noticeable. And I was like, yeah, I can't have that in there. If I could see it, other people can. So, oh right, right. So yeah, but it was definitely exciting, man. Yeah, I bet it was. Uh, Christine says, "Oh wow, that that's insane waste on the printer's part." Yeah. Uh, whenever I told them about it, uh, they were like, "Wait, you got what?" And so she had to talk to people. She's like, "You are not supposed to get those. Uh, <laughs> they they did not. We're not supposed to send that out." So, yeah. Were they supposed to have disposed of them on their end? Is that what was going on? Were they supposed to what? Sorry. Have dis disposed of them on their end? Yeah, they were supposed to just get rid of them on their end. Uh, they weren't <laughs> even supposed to send them. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it, but my mom, like, see, I was at work and you know, I live with my uh, family, and my, my mom was like super excited. She's like, so your books came. And then she messaged me saying, you know, or yeah, she said the books came. She was all excited. I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, I wasn't. What's the two days? How did they come? So when I got, uh, she's like, uh, she's like, well, the interiors are all blank. So that's whenever I was like, I, I, I don't know what's going on. So she was like devastated because she thought they totally messed up my order. So yeah, it was a, it was definitely a, an experience. But like I said, now we have to burn a lot of books. Wow. Not out of spite. We're, we're not fashion so it's not one of those cases where you'd uh, maybe open an ebay store and sell them as imperfects no i'm just running man not even gonna do that uh 
Uh, if, the more that's out there, the less uh, in demand they'd be. Uh -huh. True. Or the less collectible, you know, everything like that. And it's not really fully about collectability, but people like having that uh, sense that of the uh, uh, uniqueness of something. Yeah. So this. Uh, oh, oh, I remember. Yeah, that's an original print page. There is live ink on that. Yeah, and that will not get reprinted again. You got that page, so you have the uh, 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 samurai priest. Nice. Page twenty-three. Yeah. So, how did you get this background printed to where it doesn't overlap samurai priest? Uh, well, it's, it's digital. So in Photoshop, you just uh trace out the character and then you do a fill or gradient and you uh kind of like pixelate it in a way you had a half tone pattern and uh -huh. you can even go around and like erase a little bit on certain edges or i add a white outline to it so it's a little more distinct that he's uh you know standing out a little more yeah yeah but yeah, that, that's, there's live ink on there. So uh, the, it, if you like, kind of put it in the light, you'd probably be able to see it. But uh, so it, it's, it's, you can't be like, oh, somebody printed this out at home. And not only that, uh, it has my blue line. So unless you have access to my blue line template, mm -hmm. you can't reprint that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's the first, that, well, not the first appearance, but that's the first full appearance of Samurai Priest. So uh, hey, he'll be in other books. Yep. That's the, Last page in the first book, or the first uh, uh, issue, so to speak, because the book is 46 pages, so that's the last page in the first chapter. Let's say that. There you go. Mm. Yeah, he's 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 definitely a fan favorite, and I thought you'd like like having him. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, very very cool. I I love Thank it. You. And yeah, you do have that one ex that that art per uh, piece coming and it actually should be there. I did uh, send it Saturday delivery. So Monday, pick it up, man. Yeah. Yeah. For you sure. don't, you don't have to do a stream for me or anything. Just, just open it and hang it up there. <laughs> um, Christine says, look, can't even get, can't even use in the doodle on <laughs> probably 700 copies. Yeah. Well, let's see. That's the thing. Uh, the other ones, like the uh, variant cover and the blank sketch cover, the interiors are blank, so we could just rip off the covers and, like, you know, send them to people for journals or something like that. That's what my mom wants to do. I, I would just destroy them, but, uh, but yeah, I could do it with those. That's true. Uh, Christine, says, congrats. That's an awesome page to have. Yeah, it sure is. I love original yeah. artwork. Uh, one of the most exciting things about this campaign is when uh, you got that, that boost <laughs> uh, funding. Uh, oh, yeah, that was exciting. Girl, man. That, girl uh, campaign. Yeah, it was on your channel. Yeah, it, yeah. it floored both of us. It was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I couldn't believe it. It's a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't believe it, man. I, I'm beyond grateful to that individual. Like, uh, I, I, words can't describe how grateful I am. Uh, it, it was a mind blind, mind blowing. It really was. Oh yes. Uh, Christine says that uh, better you recycle. Yeah, recycle when we can. Yeah. Yeah. And I can even toss it in the recycle bin. You know. So it, 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 <laughs> You know the uh, the ones with interiors, I I can't because then they're out there. You know, so uh, yeah, my mom's getting use out of them though because the weather's been decent here in Ohio the past few week, a week, and she's been able to have bonfires and she loves them. So she's been able to you know, she's been getting use out of them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I've got one more package. This is from uh, Ethan Van Skyver. Ooh. Oh, nice. I, uh, I actually you. did an opening with him. I opened his Cyber Frog, oh. and he posted it on his Twitter wall. Dang. Nice. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, he That's gave awesome. me a big shout-out. Oh, sweet. 
See, that's uh, what I love about Ethan. He he still he's still with the fans. You know what I mean? He'll still retweet the fans and like you know thank them for for him. You know that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Christine says, "Law, oh, I can't stand the idea of burning books, blank or not." <laughs> Smile. No, I get you. No, I do. Uh, no bonfires and comics. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, it's keeping it warm. <laughs> Keep it warm. Yeah. Uh, so this is interesting. It take it, it something in here in the uh, USPS priority mailbox. Hmm. So this is going to be curious. Yeah. What, what you got? Because I backed all of his stuff, so I don't have that. I'm quite honestly not sure what it is. <laughs> well, he's got so much stuff out there, so many campaigns and everything that you never know with him. Oh. Huh. So that's it for... It's empty. Yeah, an empty box. So then we've got... Uh, a fat Gemini mailer with all caps comics custom tape on it. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love it too. Um, who's the other one who does it? Is it uh, is it Kyung Lee? Oh, I don't know. I have a back. Or is it Raging Golden Eagle? I think it's Kyung Lee. Uh, the the guy who has. Uh... Oh shoot. What is this book again? Let's see. Yeah, Raging... I... Is a battle made in knuckle bomb? No, yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, battle made in knuckle bomb. I have a... Yeah, he's got the logo of a bunny rabbit and a Chinese character. I think it's Chinese, uh, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Wolverine says it's Kyung. Thank you so oh, much, yeah, Wolverine. And uh, comics for everything, even to keep you warm. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. You know what I'm talking about. There we go. Yeah. Um, I am going to. Battle Made in Knuckle Bomb is amazing, says Joe Frago. Hey, buddy. I dropped the link in for anyone who wants to hop oh. in. All right, let's see what I got with this one. I think I already got warts and all. No, no, I didn't. That's the newest one. Um, yeah. I think I already got um, Unforgettable Tales. Yeah, it's Unforgettable. It came. <coughs> oh. <clears throat> okay, well, this appears to be another of my backings of Unforgettable Tales. Definitely show that. I only backed, like, I think one to here. I didn't get everything. Oh, that's so awesome. Look at this. I love the foil. It's yeah. awesome. I kind of wish he would do a foil as well as, like, a regular cover. So that way, because I don't want to touch that. <laughs> right. I hear that. You know, so I kind of wish he would like, have the option of also getting uh a, a regular cover so I can read it. Uh, so, oh, so cool. Frago, yeah. rival. <laughs> Wolverine says, I'm with Christine. Burning books for any reason is just so against my upbringing. Well, what if they're homeless? <laughs> they're the heat. There, you go. there are exceptions. You're doing a service for the homeless. Uh, Mata Nui, that title's still terrible. Are you talking about Unforgettable Tales? Because, or are you talking about, oh, you're talking about Battle Made in Knuckle Bomb. <laughs> I don't know, I'm all right with it. I think it's, it's funny, kind of, yeah. Funny title, Wolverine. If I joined that, you'd hear my TV more than me. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got those. Those are they are amazing, but it didn't spring for the ash can. Probably should have in hindsight. 
Boo, yeah. death, to the pun. death to the pun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I'm big into puns. I love dad jokes. What can I say? Uh, then you stuff your coat with the comics, keep you warm longer than burning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you slice open the inner lining, and then you stuff the comic books in there, and then you stitch it back up. And then you jump in a fire to keep yourself warm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, man. This is cool. Issue number two. Oh, cool. I don't know we got like issue one and two. I don't know if I got, I think I got the ash can, but I, I'm not sure, man. Either way, these are fantastic. These are great. So I, he definitely knows how to do a campaign. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. That's cool. And then you got the J. Lee variant cover. Yeah. That's, I got that too. That's so cool. I'm a huge J. Lee fan. Like that, that cover also would have been cool as like a, a regular cover of option. Uh -huh. You know, you could you'd be able to see uh, the darks a little better. I like I like chrome covers, but when it comes to inks, uh, the the they the shadows and stuff do get lost in the shine. So uh, Jay Lee is all like hard shadows. I really would have loved to have seen like a regular cover option. Yeah, uh, I told him on Shay's stream the other night to use them as blankets for hobos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what we also brought up the Lost Pages. Lost Pages. Ooh, look at that. Cyber oh, Frog. Black and line, line art. You got the line art one. I thought I backed that. Oh, I really want that line art, man. That is so cool. Salamandroid. Nice. Look at that. <sighs> Christine says, they are stunning. Trouble is, it's hard to capture that metallic cover on a still photo. So in a tweet, they don't look anywhere near as good. Right. Yeah, she's right. Agreed. I love his line work. It's so tight. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the brother's fist bump. Oh, you got all the goodies, man. That's sweet. That is, yeah, that is cool. It cracks me up how they they differ in size. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely makes for a nice stark contrast to the two. It's yeah. Great. Cyber Frog, I think, is shorter than Heather Swain. And, yeah. And uh, Salamandroid is, what, four or five times larger than uh, or Both taller them combined. than Cyber Frog. Yeah, he's, a, he's ginormous. That's cool stuff. Very envious you got those line arts, man. That's cool. Yeah, I almost didn't get him, but then I went, oh, jeez. I better get him. Because uh, otherwise I'll probably regret it later. Like me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't want to be uh, like Jason down the road. Yeah, don't be like Jason. That's never that take away anything from this stream. I wonder if, the, um, I wonder if uh, those might actually – have some copies available still on his eBay store. They are, but they're crazy expensive for just like wow. one. So I, I, I can't justify the cost for the uh, want, you know. That's true. Because he's trying to uh, make money. Make well, <laughs> and uh, trying to get the, you know, trying not to screw the original backers over. Right. Then I get it. 
These blockhead things are so funny. Yeah, I, I don't. I'll never assemble them though. Me either. <laughs> Me yeah. either. This is like my. Yeah, this is like my second set of blockheads, and I'm never going to build them. <laughs> as tempting as it may be. I wonder there's people who will though. Yeah, I wonder how many cards it would take to build a Salem Android. Oh geez, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a a lock. pretty big mailer. All right. I think this is a sticker. I could be wrong, but it feels like it's a sticker. It's not a bookmark? Uh, I think it's a bookmark, but it feels like it's made out of sticker material. It could be a sticker, just a long one, because uh, there's nothing on the back. Bookmarks are usually double-sided. Right. Oh, yeah, and Christine too. Don't don't be like Christine. <laughs> oh, Wolverine's like don't be like Jason. Wise guy twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah, Wolverine right. knows. Official quote from me. Yeah, be like Christine. Frago says he did say people were confusing a bumper sticker for a bookmark. <laughs> yeah, I mean it kind of looks like a bumper sticker, except a small one. It, I, I, I'm literally looking for stuff that I can put on the, my car. Oh, I love those cards. Yeah, you know, down and out, Cyber Frog. A sticker bookmark for when you want to keep your place for fucking ever. <laughs> I'm never going to this again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Nice. Sweet. That's pretty darn cool. Yeah. So, he, Ethan knows how to put out a product. Yeah. I kind of wonder why he just didn't mail it in the the box alone instead of sending priority on top of that uh, double security i guess so i guess so yeah i feel like that box thing is like the best thing for the comic books like it keeps it perfectly little yeah. cardboard thing mm -hmm. oh the gemini mailer Is that what you're referring to, Joe? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I have gotten books that don't have the mailer, and they, a couple of them have been warped a little bit uh, from handling because the envelope isn't sturdy enough. So, yeah, it, it's a little bit, costs a little bit more to, you know, obviously buy them and ship, but it's worth it for the backer. Uh, that way they get a. a a mint crisp copy of, of the book. Yeah. Uh, Christine got the brother's card last week. Love Ooh, Ethan's cool. trading cards. Yeah, me too. I can't wait till he starts fulfilling the warts and all because that's when you get the free binder. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be nice. I got a lot of trading cards of everyone. <laughs> and I, I, I mean, I, I don't want to leave them in the back of the comics. You know, I want to yeah, I'll display them in some way. And I, well, my campaign, my one of my campaigns, I was planning on doing like a trading card, like, like box, like make one, a custom one. But then he's coming out with that binder, so I'm like, yeah, well, there goes, there goes that. But uh, it's, it, I'm glad somebody's doing it. Though. Same. To keep the Democrats from stealing the cyber frog too. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's a good point. Because they know he's conservative and you know they want to steal the election. Ugh, don't get me started on that. They did that here in Canada. Oh no. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He's going the next one in a week or so, isn't he? Um oh the next Project is Rainbow Brood, isn't it? 
Yeah, next project's Rainbow Brute. Yeah, I I didn't catch when he's launching the uh, early sign up, but it should be sometime soon. Uh, yeah, I think it's in December or uh, Thanksgiving or something. Like that. I don't know. Gemini mirrors or similar substitutes are the way to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, same here. Would be great to get the trade card binder. Um, and what I'm thinking of doing is, you know, they they make the pages designed for trading cards, but then I'm pretty sure I've also seen cards designed to fit larger things like uh, four by six photos. But instead of having three or four rows, uh, what is it? I think four across by three vertically, something like that. Uh, I think you can fit four four by sixes into which I would put stickers or patches because uh, as much as I want to put patches on the jacket like uh, Red Valkyrie is going to do, uh, I also kind of want to just preserve them and just have them saved <laughs> in the binder. Yeah. Yes. Uh I'm uh, on the fence on patches myself mainly because I never I, I never use them. At most, I put them on winter beanies. So uh, and even then, I don't know how to sew. So I have to have somebody else do it. So yeah. it's the only reason why I'm like, eh, patches are cool, but I don't think they're for everyone, but they are for some people. Uh, yeah. So it, yeah. Agreed. But what about Gemini mailers in Ziploc bags? <laughs> I, I wanted to put my comics in a Ziploc baggie in the Gemini mailer. So, yeah. Uh, just didn't have, have the packs. Packs. Isn't that what Narwhal did, or was that Winger? I think uh, Malin. Was it? I don't know. I think it was Malin. I don't think he would do that. I thought it was Winger for, um, for uh, uh, Superhero. Super you might be right. I didn't. I didn't back super harem. So. Uh, Frago says I want all my books shipped in Ziploc bags. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So you can yeah. actually see see what's in it and stuff. You mean like just a Ziploc bag? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the, one sturdy Ziploc bag with the labels, the address labels on it. Uh, Wolverine says I'd hop in in all wise, but I don't want. To sit half naked on your stream with nothing to say. <laughs> Where is he not half naked with nothing to say? Uh, Which half uh, is yeah. naked? <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I was going to sew mine on my cutoff. Might keep them in the binder if they fit. Yeah, uh, that's why you need to get the the pages that have the bigger uh, pockets. Or, or you back twice. Get one to put in a binder, one to sew on. Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, there, you, there go. you go. Back twice. Some wise, wise thinking there. Yeah. I have my moments. Uh, I have my moments. Kino says it was Wenger. Okay. Wenger shipped in Ziplocs. Uh, I forget what IIRC. I really cool. I I, I don't remember. Uh, I don't really care. Uh, oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm always half naked on people's streams, lol. <laughs> they don't I see would, the bottom half. Uh, I try to be half naked with something to say, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing uh, important. Hmm, another good idea. Yeah, back twice. Back yeah. twice. Absolute still, uh, still in demand for a week. Back twice. Wait, for a week, did you say? Oh, yeah, I'm ending Sunday. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Are you uh, Are you doing a, a – are you closing on someone's channel or on your channel? or? Uh, I haven't arranged anything yet. Who knows? Maybe I'll hit up Shay and Cy. We'll see what happens. Because, um, yeah, I don't know. I might just close it. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> even – like, what happened? <laughs> uh, but if anybody has it, doesn't back uh, this, uh, the regular cover will be available in the next campaign, so you can still get the book, uh, but at a, a upcharge. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, Raging Golden Eagles book is Blade Devil. Oh, okay. yeah, that's it. Oh, pardon me. I'm looking forward to that, too. Um, all right. Um, I mean, I could let Christine decide. I'm happy to be eye candy. <laughs> oh, okay. I I R C. If I recall correctly, thank you. Uh, why not just type it? Oh, geez, all the people and their laziness. <laughs> <laughs> Lol, and now I'm tempted, Wolverine. <laughs> Wink. Tempting is my MO. <laughs> Wink back. Oh, dear. All right, so I'm going to start the recap. Uh, Christine, did you want to hop on at all? I don't, oh, you, I think you told me that you were having mic issues or something, that there would be nothing but static. All right. Oh, just mute your mic. She could be I can. There you go. There you go. <laughs> See all kinds of uh, all kinds of brains. I come with the, yeah, I come with the ideas. You know? Yeah. We all know women are objects and not people. Come on, man. There you go. There you go. We're well, serious. Don't worry. Completely not joking. No sense of humor here. All right. So basically, <clears throat> package one had more lethal. Ooh. And it's kind of like an ash can size. Yeah, I like it. Nice and uh, yeah. small. And then it came with, uh, I guess I backed it twice because I got two of these. Uh, it's like both cards. Got the image on the front, blank on the back. I personally like uh, something on the back. You know, even if it's just branding. Yeah. And uh, this is artwork for the trading card by Carla Tornielli of uh, White Cat Comics. Yeah, I love they, Carla's stuff. They did uh, the uh, Grim Reaper and Grim Reaper 2. Their current project is Witch Hunter. Yeah, Carlos doing the colors on Witch Hunter and Javier's penciling. Yeah. Uh, this is from Mandy Summers. Uh, this is the member exclusive promo card for being a wow. channel member. And that's Omega Atlas. On the back, it tells you. See, also number zero four. YouTube zero four. And it's got her uh, contact information. Well, her website, her YouTube channel, the website for Super Dead. Yeah, I can't wait for Super Dead. Peter Gilmore's a good, great artist. Yeah. Um, next one is Vampirella. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, from Lu Lu Lucio Paria, I think, which I think is Italian. Look at that. Hmm. That's lovely. And uh, she's holding a skull. That always and, adds to the sex appeal. Yeah. yeah um, her lips are dripping blood, and the skull has some blood on it. Oh, you got a signed one. Yeah. Um, cool, man. It, it's got like a bronze or a copper signature. Yeah, that's a, it's a paint pen, which uh, I wanted to get originally, but I don't know if it would work on the cardstock that I have. And then uh, this copy. Well, hold on. Right, so that was a virgin. This is, I think, the original. Yeah. And it's a uh, silver signature. And then you've got black and white grayscale, or just grayscale. 
kind of reminiscent of the classic horror movie monsters. Yeah, that gives it that horror feel. That's cool. Yeah, it's really nice. And uh, a trading card based on the same image, based on the same painting. Nice. And it says on the back, Lucio Parillo, Crowdfunder Collector's Trading Card, Exclusive Premium. Um, and then we've got the, actually, hold on. So on the, uh, wow. So on the cover, it's got uh, the head of a dead, dead guy. <laughs> head, like a decapitated head. Um, it here is where she's got a skull in her hand. Oh, and okay. Blood dripping. That's so, cool. this is actually a, a collector's coin. Oh. And it's like gold plated, and it's got the image of Amparella with the skull. And there's, a, it comes with a stand as well as a certificate of authenticity. Hmm. I guess I only backed one instance with the uh, with the coin because I don't see a coin on the other one. Unless it came with that perk. Yeah. And then basically package number four was the same. Uh, Vampirella books. That is a, there's a silver signature. I like that. Yeah, and it's up top instead of on the bottom. Wow. I don't know if it will really make any difference in terms of value long term. Nice. Yeah, its style definitely fits Vampirella. I think. Training card again. Sure. Next one was black and white, which was loaded with stuff. <laughs> now, let me see. Wolverine. <laughs> so he is lazy. No mic at the moment. Well, you may be lazy, but you know, do it for Christine. Yes, you need to <laughs> the mandate. Come on, do it, do it. <laughs> exactly. I thought it meant international intelligence raccoon commandos. <laughs> <laughs> I, I that is a new comic ID. That's a new comic idea right there. New IP. Well, try and get one soon. I just keep forgetting. Uh-huh. Sure. That's what they always mm. say. Got to fix that, Christine. I've never seen or heard you on a stream. I know I've gone through about six cheap mics, so I was saving for a half-decent one, so I don't have to keep buying one. I will get one. Wait. You know what's a really great mic? It's these ones they sell at EB Games or whatever... Uh... Uh, whatever they they're called, is it called EB Games where you guys are? Electronics Boutique. Uh, yes. That store I think is either out of business or they went online. They went. Well, to they sell these headsets and they come with grip, the grip for your PlayStation or Xbox, and it works for your your system, and you could plug it in your um your computer, oh. and it works on that too. Yeah, and it's really comfy too. Oh, good to know. And uh, I'm wondering, you, this is uh, this is my mead, my berry mead. Berry mead. Yeah. So yeah. once we hit the 500 mark, I'm gonna be uh, making custom glasses with our logo on it. Ooh. People are gonna get the free course on how to make it. <laughs> So I do like a YouTube video where I go through all the process and I give everyone tips. So like with the equipment, like if you're a noob, you could spend a, 
a hundred dollars if you don't know what you're doing. So I tell everyone how to save money on equipment, the bottling, cheaper ways to bottle, all sorts of stuff. Wow. Yeah, it is. Uh -oh. <laughs> God. There he is. I didn't run. The goddamn pass. <laughs> Bringing the sexy back. There it is. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Hey, how dare you interrupt here? Naked Iro time? I'm uh, just here for the mead, man. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> really good. Here. This thing also goes down smooth. You don't even feel it until you stand up. <laughs> mm. I, normally, I would take that somewhere, but it's early. One time I was walking around a bar with a pitcher of Long Island iced tea and a straw. <laughs> that was a fun yeah, time. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. 48 years, I have still not managed to ever try mead. It's fucked up. <laughs> never, I'm more of a hard liquor guy. Uh, Guinness was like the only uh, like beer. Type Guinness. Oh, I like yes. Guinness. Yeah. Guinness is good. Yeah. Drink yeah, a whole ass like, loaf of bread. Yeah, I like <laughs> some Johnny Walker back in the day. Oh yeah, Johnny Walker's good too. Yeah, I actually have some. Uh, yeah. Maybe a black label, maybe I might have a gold label too. Um, let's see. Oh, speaking about mics. Um, I, I have a Macintosh tower, and I'm actually using a camera called an Apple EyeSight. Okay. And uh, it's still compatible somehow with my current camera. And it's easily over 10 years old. So, so well, your first mistake is a new Mac. <laughs> no, you back. You PC Masters. Never. I don't know. I oh, just have my uh, speaking. Uh, speaking of mics, Christine, <laughs> if you uh, if you subscribe to if you uh, pledge to my campaign, we're giving away the same headset that I'm talking about that has the grips and everything. Damn. Just if we pick you, tell me which system you want it for, and I'll get it for your system. Sweet. We got a lot of cool draws. I got games. Uh, if we hit the 5,000 mark, I'm giving away a fantasy sword from Fire and Steel. I have the Bleach one, but you can pick whatever you want. Damn, son. And once we hit the 10,000 mark, we're going to give away one of those uh, custom arcades with 20,000 games. 20,000 games? Oh, yeah. I'm just waiting for When we hit the 20,000 mark, it's a brand new car! <laughs> <laughs> You get an arcade, you get an arcade, and you get an arcade. <laughs> Everybody gets a comic skate up in this bitch. <laughs> Everybody gets an arcade. I thought on your campaign that you had a picture of the swords. I, I don't. I oh. didn't know, put that up there. Sex toys. All right. <laughs> well, there you have it. It's right here on the intro video. That was my um, interview on uh, television that I put on the video. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Uh, Christine's had at least two Logitech that died on her. Um, I just use my webcam. As a yeah, mind. I don't know. These, don't these know. things work great for me. Yeah. Initially, I actually bought... At the, uh, both the, I, I actually bought two Apple iSights at the same time period and uh one of them for some reason i can't get working but this one has been reliable still and over 10 years old um oh, damn. i was gonna say i love the fact that my avatar's head is right over my head <laughs> i think this dog is a better image though uh, there you go <laughs> hey, put the dog back up it represents wolverine a little better Ow. yeah <laughs> Uh, might just grab a cheap one that works okay for the moment, which is pretty much what, <laughs> which is what I always end up doing. What is she doing with these mics? Is she like, like throwing them against the wall at random occasions? Like, how are you going through so many mics? It helps if you don't try to stream in the in the pool. 
Well, I mean, it gets your viewers, but you know. yes, yes, <laughs> that's good advice. I'm down for the Blue Lagoon stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could be her power levels too high. The mic can't handle it. Like the skin just goes. <laughs> yeah, good point. Welcome, Splash Page Comics. Hello, Mr. Redlow. Too damn hot for the for the equipment. She's in the UK. Space Hunter, feel all. Welcome. I don't, I don't like my blue yeti. Sounds just not right. I usually hear good, good stuff. Boy is having a party. How much longer are you all going to be on? I will join uh, and show some books if you like. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe in 30 minutes. I've got uh, I've got four more projects to recap. My granddad used to bring them mine for um, so many things. Oh, my candy on a Sunday! I'm in heaven. <laughs> there we go, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's, that's sex appeal right there. Uh, <laughs> by now. By now. By all. Are you too sexy for your shirt? <laughs> oh, Actually, the shirt is too sexy for me. But, you know, <laughs> um, we trade off when you know, I get the off days. Uh oh, YouTube just struck my entire channel down like Fregas. God damn it. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh, oh no, showing off nipple. Oh, nipple gate. Well, we all know nipples on men are more, more accepted. <laughs> Comic gate is a nipple movement. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to troll your campaign after this. Oh, yeah. Christina's really one of those angry gamers that throws the mic whenever she loses that a game. He says that like there's any other kind of gamer. My dogs are big and their tails catch the cables, and I don't have a pool, unfortunately. Get a kitty pool. Uh, there we go. Let's get a glass of cold water and splash. Thank you. Whatever excuse to get the women naked, I don't care. <laughs> Oh boy. I'm old. I don't have time to be subtle anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's a young man's game. <laughs> Alex Trebek died. We're all going to go. <laughs> nice. I'm right with uh, Vampire on the cover. <laughs> Is it just me or uh, does this? Kind of remind me of the of Try that again, Wise. No. Is it just me, or does the uh, vampire pose look uh, uh, similar to that of uh, what PBS did his pose? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I mean, fucking okay, Art's just one of those old timers. It just keeps getting better, though. Goddamn. I know. Yeah, it's amazing. I, I mean, I love this stuff back in the day, too. So it's, it's you know, he has really, that's a Hulu cover, isn't it? Uh, possibly. I think so. Hulu. <laughs> Yeah, I jumped on that Capullo cover. I also got the Virgin one, too, just because. Not as big a fan of that one. Uh, welcome, Mr. White Gloves. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. Y'all doing all right? Salutations. 
I haven't met any of y'all guys. I've uh, watched uh, this channel for a while and commented a few times in the chat. And I'm all out to meeting new YouTubians. Yeah, YouTubians. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's kind of like the new Bohemians, but like 30 years later. Oh, Christine, why are you why are you tempting us? I'll be naked without a camera, sure. She just wants to hurt me. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to be the only viewer. <laughs> Vampirella is so well drawn. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Every time I see that black and white, I keep myself from not seeing it. Yeah. Uh, as I was kind of alluding to, um, there are so many darn projects that I have trouble keeping up with everything that's coming out. And half the time I, I miss them until they're either close to ending their campaign or in a, in a couple of cases, I actually miss the campaigns entirely. Well, you can't back everybody, you know? So. Yeah. <laughs> Christine says, lol, Wolverine, you're terrible. I never denied that. <laughs> uh, well, if I can get this cleared up, y'all wanna y'all wanna see some books or? Book. And just a sec, let me try and recap the rest of these real quick. Trying to get this turned off too. Get what turned off? Oh, it's trying to update. Oh, like a, a computer system update. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's the keyboard cover right there. Yeah. Hopefully, your whole system doesn't go tits up like mine did on Shay's stream the other night. Oh no! <laughs> well, it's doing some weird stuff now. I'm trying to stop it. How long were, was your computer down? Uh, just long enough that I never made it back onto the stream. Oh no! <laughs> Do you figure out what it was? What caused it? Uh, no, it's just been doing that semi-randomly in the past few months. Oh, this is like a, I guess, a mini poster or a print. Oh, I like that. That's nice. I thought that was also a card. Isn't that also a card? In a world where law and order are often blurred to gray, justice, justice can, can only be black, black and gray. And white. You need to drop about five more octaves, man. Yeah, true. And white justice can only be black. And white. Get that Jack Palance black. And white. Thank you, no. <laughs> there it goes. All right. Then we got the uh, bookmark. People still like that idea. I might have to use that, a sticker bookmark. Well, actually, I don't think I don't think this one specifically is a. Oh, remember this a spot forever. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like I like picking those up at the cons from the artists and everything when they have them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, people really like them bookmarks. I, I might do one. It's a CD. It's a sticker. It's a big round sticker. Oh wow. <laughs> Not enough round stickers out there. I guess that's better. I was wondering what the hell he had on a CD he was sending out. Yeah. He did a band, so there you go. He could be like, hey, there you go. Listen to my band. Yeah, it could just be like a CD of him drumming. <laughs> I'd watch that. <laughs> All the I was, just, I was just thinking music, but I would watch it too. <laughs> I watch. I watch. Well, I watch the yeah. A lot of these artists now they're getting these blank cards and they're drawing on them and uh, selling them now. Oh, sketch cards, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. sketch cards, yeah. Uh, I can't remember what... Hey, you, Steph. Uh, welcome, to Stefani Renee. Hey, Stephanie. how you be? Congrats welcome. on your uh, congrats on your awesome uh, success with Thomas Mora. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you. congrats on your deal with the devil on that goddamn art. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that'd be I want to have you on my channel, but you won't come on. Uh, that's just the thank you note. Yeah, I've gotten uh, a couple thank you notes in some of the campaigns. There's some great detail considering it's a sticker. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, once you get to mine, I got to remind you of something. 
Sam Poitier, uh, Sam Poitier often does sketch cards for campaigns. And I've got a Joe Paul. Didn't Joe Paul do something, or was it Joe Paul? Or? I can't remember who it was, but they had a sketch cards on their campaign for five bucks. It was like a limited thing. Wow. Uh, if you, yeah, it was like it was really cool. I can't remember who it was. Joe Ball or somebody. I can't remember. Could it, uh, could it, um, could it have been part of the uh, Oddity campaign? I don't think so. I can't remember who who actually did it, but uh, it was really cool of them. I've done a couple of sketch cards, but uh, like not selling them. I just did them for fun. Was, was that a pen? Yep. Yep. Uh, a yin yang symbol with a target. Yeah. And then a uh, second pin. I don't know if I'm going to be able to effectively show it. You can sort of see it. It's the characters black and white and kind of an action pose. And here's that the never, never works quite as well on a pin. Yeah, a pin needs to be more of a graphic. Yeah. Just the contour of the pin itself always distorts yeah. the art. Yeah. yeah, that's true. And one of my favorite parts of this is the two patches that it came with. Oh, wow. Uh, patches, patches, patches. I like those patches. I always thought about collecting those patches and getting a vest and put them on there, but I ain't got nobody to sew them on. So. Well, you just uh, go to any seamstress and they'll take care of it. Well, I'm in a rural area. There's most of the seamstress around here are dead. <laughs> mm. But thankfully, they all voted. <laughs> hey, well, probably, probably twice. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get into that. <laughs> uh, so you keep, you keep it the Great detail. It's a sticker. Thank you, guys, from Stefani. Uh, lol. Lol. Wolverine says, I wish the hell I had the money to back your book, Steph. It's goddamn fire. Hell oh, yeah. Fire. No I problem. I wish he had money. True. True. Hey, Dillard, how you be, man? I'm doing really good. Welcome back. Thank you. Now, I went to go answer a phone call, and then they're like, hey, you want some breakfast? And it looks so good. Normally, <laughs> breakfast around here is trash, but man. They went all out, huh? Mm-hmm. It was like bacon, but like set aside, you know, like lined up, set aside in a nice little pile. It was pancakes, it was eggs, even French toast. One of the options. See, here's, see, here's a man who spent actual money on a fucking microphone. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. My my Yeti just it ain't doing it no more. I mean, when I do live streams, it just I mean this microphone I got now is a lot better than that Yeti. And I was looking last night for a new microphone. They got some that are they got the audio like the uh people in uh bands use that ha also has a USB and an HMDI. And they're a lot cheaper than the Yeti that I'm thinking about getting into and and uh, looking at. Now that's hey, some uh, art right there, goddamn. <laughs> hey, I I forgot. Uh, you should have actually. I don't know which books will have it in it, but there's a uh, like a work doodle that I put inside uh, each camp backer's thing. So you should have two since you backed twice, two or one. But I don't know which book it would be in, so you might want to open those later. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You mean like on the inside of the front cover? No, it's like on the inside of the book. They're 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 by by seven. Like they look like uh, this. Like this is an example of one. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, this is. Uh, so this is like I did these when I worked at Michaels uh, at the register. They're five by seven. See the line there. But uh, I put I had so many of them. I was putting them in people's uh, books. Oh wow! So like a little little freebie. Uh, original art, so they're ballpoint pen and white child. So you should have one, or maybe even two. Uh, I just want to imagine though. you working as a cashier doing that while checking people out and you freaking the shit. No, the people love it. I just it, want to pee and go. Like, I just want to pee and go. I always got you're so talented. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Have you ever been in the line at Michael's that people don't want to just buy and go? They want to have conversations. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do. It's not wrong. 
Yeah, but like little old Ohio ladies looking at like like his art. <laughs> <laughs> my son draws things like that. <laughs> you worship the devil. Up. You worship the devil. Yeah, but, but yeah, like I said, I don't know which books it would be in. Hmm. Ooh. How'd you find it? <laughs> there you go. There's one of them. Yeah, it's on the back. I think that's on the back of a taxi time form. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Oh, wow. Yeah, just, just white ink. ink. What's that? I say, is that just white ink? Oh, it's gel pen. Oh, so I would go get the gel pens from the store. Damn, yeah. damn opaque. Yeah. yeah, I would get the gel pens from the store and I would, you know, use them. Yeah, yeah. I used to draw, but it took me too long to draw. I'm more of a background person. Building and architecture and stuff like that. Oh, I can't. I hate drawing that stuff. I mean, I draw, I, yeah. it, but I hate it. I, I'm a ruler guy. Okay. I was. I, I. I've always been a figure artist. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm a ruler guy. I like doing the lines and drawing the buildings and three signs and cars and stuff like that. That's pretty sweet. I found that in the the book which had the variant cover. Oh, okay. And it, would, it, it appeared to be in the middle of the book, directly in the yeah, middle. Yeah, because the middle has that jacket break that's kind of uh, thick, opens up. Yeah. And it just, I just slide it right on in there. Uh, Christine says, I actually won one of three of the sign-up backer sketches for Novoa's campaign, Abandon Your Wings. Oh, man, another campaign I hadn't heard of. Uh, it will be the second piece of actual art I'll get. Nice. First was was Fragus from his Fractober stream. Oh, yeah, she won. Man, she <laughs> got this. Took damn near the whole October, but she did it. Yeah. <laughs> We're giving her such a hard time. Get a mic, Christine. <laughs> Don't get a blue Yeti. Peer, peer pressure works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get one of these mics that I got. They're fantastic, and they're I got the whole kit, like the, the the stand, the pop filters, and everything. And it was like forty one dollars. And it's one of those mics where you have it has one of the uh, you know auxiliary mixers. You have to plug it into a mixer. Oh yeah, and all that stuff. That's it's, that one for forty one bucks. Yep. Jesus what, what is the brand? What is the brand on it? It's called Newer, N E E W E R, and the model is N W seven hundred. Well, I've heard there's a ATX twenty. What was that number? Uh, NW uh, NW seven hundred. There's a ATX twenty something out there that I've seen some reviews on. That was uh, they they look real good. And uh, like I said, they're they got a, a bunch of different plugs in there that you can use it on. That I was thinking about getting, but I got to replace my microscope first. Oh, nice. Microscope. Thank you. Yeah, digital microscope I use for when I grade. For when you what? Grade? Yeah, grade my comics. Oh, damn. Yeah, uh, it, you can get a digital microscope and plug it into USB, and it will magnify up to 1,600 times, and you can put it on the computer screen. That's some no fucking around grading. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty particular. <laughs> I'm OCD yeah. about a lot of things. On, on the desk? I don't know if What's I'll that? get any stickers on my next campaign. What was that? Uh, did you say on a desk? What was that? Somebody said something. I don't know who yeah. it was. Oh, nice. Yeah, these are stickers. Yeah, I mean, I have as many on my next campaign. Absolutely. Yeah, it's the logo. I put that on my tower, <laughs> my computer tower. I was like, yeah, I like that. Uh, my own thing. Yeah, you know, Shay, I told I asked Shay, I'm like, hey, it's five by 
five by four a big issue big. She's like, no, it's good. It's a good size. Then when she saw it, she's like, that's a huge patch. When you <laughs> told me. <laughs> Stop bitching. That's your bonus. Like, yeah, I give you a bonus and you're giving me bad advice. What's this? You got your name in the book and you got a patch. Stop. Stop. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, yeah I, got, I, got some, I got some stickers there being made. Uh, I just got to tell them, tell them when and they should be coming my way. Yeah. Big old, yeah, what about I do too. Is that Frigga's? Yeah, yeah, that's Frigga's. Like that's his line art uh, yeah. card. Because so I have the colored card and the line art card. So I, I wanted to show. He was so damn hyped to draw that character. Yeah, he he, he loves that guy. And there's the color. Ooh, too, so. That's pretty. Watercolors. Thanks, yeah, I was uh, because he, he wanted me to color it. So uh, I was like, all right, man. But I didn't want to do digital. Uh, that's a digital color job right there. That's the uh, the foil across word. Absolutely. And that's the entire foil card. That's why he's showing off that he got it. My mind is extra one. I, like I said, that was an, I, that must have been an accident because I don't. I oh, stop! It was thing. a bribe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, although like, 2020 has been rough on the martian manhunter well see those guys the back that right there has the, 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 the name of those characters but when i first yeah. printed them i did not know the back of it had her name on it so there's some cards out there of the aliens with her name on it yeah <laughs> Oh, special, uh, special editions. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, I kind of hope those people hit me up so that way I can get them the uh, regular card as well. But, uh, oh, yeah, in I, 20 I years, so people will be arguing with everyone else. No, they're called this. <laughs> they're called this. But yeah, I, dude, I had. I've had I got the cards, cards. Look. I've had those cards for a couple months and I never used it. Oh, wow. Oh, very. Yeah, she's she's gonna be in book two, too. so you gotta get book two to find out the significance of this image. Looks like a mad wet cat behind him. Yeah, you'll see in book two. That is cool. Thanks, man. That's uh, that's Starlight Cats when uh, Shane's uh, halfway <laughs> through a stream and drunk off his balls. <laughs> <laughs> space cats. Space cats. I was stream last night, man. It was fun. Yeah, it's not a bit of that. Yeah. I'll have to get it from Amazon as we are locked down again until December 3rd at least. Dang. That now, sucked. that's the thing. I don't know if they're going to hold her books then in uh, 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 customs for a while uh, because they're locked down. So I hope she gets yeah. it pretty soon. Where, where is she from? UK. UK. Yeah, she's in the... UK over there. Damn, we, we pay so much for our tech, we get hit with VAT on any tech, so everything is 20% more expensive. But we seem to pay way more than you guys in the first place. Wow. <laughs> Double wow. I have to take my hands out for running about 10 minutes, so we'll have to balance in. Okay. Um, we'll probably be on for maybe 15, no more than 30 more minutes, because I'll be leaving for work shortly. Enjoy your drive. Yeah, my nephew's birthday was uh, Friday, and today we're doing something, so uh, I don't know what we're here. Uh, the, next, nice. the next package is uh, another set of absolute swag. That's the variant cover. The people no. are enjoying the story. What is the story about? Uh, it's about a bounty hunter who's accidentally thrust into uh, an alien war that he didn't ask for. He just wanted to, uh, you know, he's doing his own thing and uh, this uh, uprising of rebels trying to overthrow the alien invaders. Uh, you know, he gets sucked into that. And uh, it's a, pretty much the gist of it. Uh, it takes place on Earth uh, years into the future. So. It's like a sci-fi western slash D and D 
uh, superpowers, sorcery. It's, it's, it's fun, man. So in the other set, the poster was placed inside the book of the original cover. Yeah. Yeah, if you back the uh, the one with the poster, uh, it, I usually I put it into the middle of the book. <clears throat> Did you find the other one? Yeah, you found the other one. Cool, man. Like wow. which poster? It's cool with the third eye. Yeah, it was a good one. The always watching symbol. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. And so you got three original pieces of art. No, yeah. that's the symbol of the ghostly hollows. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, man? I, I, that pyramid with the oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> that's an yeah. original print page. Yeah. Okay, so sorry. there's live ink on it. Uh, Did and, you do uh, that all that grid work by hand? I, no, dude. That's just that's the deal. <laughs> yeah, that would have been that would have been some uh, that would have been interesting to do. I yeah yeah. Followed by wondering what the taste of gunmetal tastes like. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh. Um, there is very minor denting on the top corners, but uh, well, that's might be just from me. Who knows? Oh, dude, wait a minute. Open that on the back of it. There should be something else, I think. Oh, no, wait, that's never mind. That's the, the original art piece, so you got to wait till tomorrow. Okay, you should be able to press that out. You should well, be able to, yeah. Just the is hidden. there denting on the actual art, or is it on the just the packaging? Uh, on the 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 eleven by seventeen cardstock or whatever is printed on. I mean, drawn on. That'll never grade out under a microscope. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Tell them it's for me. Performance art. There you go. Yeah. Performance art. <laughs> yeah, the creator did it. <laughs> to make it unique. There you go. That makes it even worth more. There you go. See, I'm adding to the value. Yes. And the final box. Da, da, That's the last. Cyber Frog. Yeah. Yeah, that line art, man. I'm so envious of that. The fist bump line art cover. The details in the background, man. Took a lot of time to draw. Oh, yeah. Line art of Salamandra. Line art of Cyberpunk. No, oh, Christine says, I don't think so. We're we are still getting mail on parcels. Well, that's good. Uh, oh, wow, well, that's amazing, she says. I just got to give Ethan a lot of credit for making such an awkwardly designed character uh, uh, come out so well in the line art. Mm hmm. The J. Lee cover. The Red Planet uh, Ashcan. Unforgettable Tales, issue two. I forget the name of the fly character. Death fly? Uh, wasn't it Ben Riley? I think that was the name, the, the real name, yeah. Right, right. But is, is it Death Fly or is it something else? I, if you I want to say, but I'm only getting that from uh, things that Ethan said on stream. I've, I, I've never actually like read any of the old books. Oh, okay. If, if you pull the wings off a fly, would it be called a walk? Yes. <laughs> actually, I think it would be called a flop. Walk this way. <laughs> Talk yeah. this way. They never seem to like really walk after you pull the the wings off. They just flop. Yeah. 
pretty nice. Dude, they're swaying blockheads. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of look like the same teeth drawing in a way right there, you know? <laughs> just how wacky it is. Cyber Ops, the blockheads. I just don't get it. I'm too old. <laughs> Too old for this shit. Riggs. Too Get off my lawn. So it looks like yeah. a, a bookmark, but it feels like a sticker. Even though it that doesn't have... Be, that, that I, could, I could totally see that being a bumper sticker. It doesn't have a, yeah, I think that might be a bumper sticker. Oh, well, maybe. <clears throat> but I thought bumper stickers were designed like regular stickers where there's a break in the paper so that you can easily peel off part of it. Well, I noticed with Sticker Mule, just don't really use those. If you oh, okay. Sticker Mule, you know, it's kind of hard to peel those off. But once you get them, you get them. Yeah, you got a lot of cool stuff, man. Yeah, I'll kinds of neat stuff. What are you going to do with all this stuff you got? You don't have nearly enough room on that wall behind you. He's going to pile it up against that wall like the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, put in a nice big box and he's going to put a marker and say cyber frog. Yeah. Are, are you kidding? That's what's holding up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you see this stack of books? Mm -hmm. That's everything Comicsgate. Jeez. That, oh, yeah. that I've received so far. Excluding... Excluding, you know, things like uh, trading cards, decks oh, of cards. Which one of those is Red Rooster? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. I don't have a, a Comicsgate version of Red Rooster from the campaign, but I I went to Walmart and I decided. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I know. I you broke. I, I just wanted to see what they were like, so I grabbed issues one and two of each of four titles. Uh, but I was mostly interested in Kelsey Shannon's book. It's Nora Saga. Yeah, Nora. Nora Saga, that's it. Yeah. So that's everything for me. Um, I think that Mr. White Gloves wanted to show off some books or something. Well, we I just, uh, I'm a Marvel collector. I've been collecting for about 47 years. Ooh, wee. And, and uh, yeah, I, I've been doing this quite a while, but I, I didn't know if y'all would be interested in seeing some old uh, Marvel books. Nice. Hell yeah. Right. Okay. Back we got comics were good. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. These, I, I even got some older Golden Age back there, too. Uh, Tales of uh, Suspense, number 25. Nice. Cool. Then we got Tales of Suspense number 38. One issue before Iron Man. The teenager who ruled the world. <laughs> and my 39 is put up because it's in pristine. Number 40. Oh my gosh. Wow. And then we got number 42. <laughs> what no red rooster? <laughs> what a surprise! Forty three. I, I appreciate the last issue had had the word Iron Man on the cover at least twice. Iron Man. Yeah, sure did. Plus. Take it easy. Back. You have a good one. Thanks for hanging with us. Take care. Number yeah. forty three. Well, welcome, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer Grover. How's it going? XO, XO. Don't do anything. Hey. Happen, do you? <laughs> Number 46, Crimson Dynamo. Ooh, nice. nice. Yes. Jennifer, hop on in. Number 47. Wow. Andrew Melter. Number 59.
Let's uh, Iron Man Captain America started. Number what is it? Number sixty one. Uh, while you guys are doing that, I will be right back. Number 60. Let me get mine up here. 63. God, those are gorgeous. Number 65. Conditioning. These are great, man. At least from what I can tell here. Yeah, it's like uh, you can see as he's pulling them up. The little the little uh, light glare goes across them, and they you don't see yeah. any dust on them whatsoever. They that, just look like brand new. <laughs> up there. Yeah, this is going to be a replacement boot. Number sixty nine. I'll take it. It's fine. Let's see why you wear the gloves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take it off your hands right now. I got like four bucks right here. Number seventy two. <laughs> So do you do grading, or you just inspect them to see what grading they could be, and then submit them? I, I do. Well, no, I don't submit. I don't do very many uh, 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 graded books at all. I've never sent in a graded book. I'm just not that kind oh, okay. of person. No, that's cool. Seventy three. He's a presenter. Very nice of him. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I picked these up years and years ago. Number 74. I mean, some of my golden age stuff and uh, early early uh, stuff back in the 70s didn't cost me hardly anything. Number 76. Uh, Lily Bear. And number 77. Number that's some of them 79. Jeez, that's cool. Holy moly. Um, all right, so it looks like I screwed up because uh, it turns out I'm late for work. <laughs> God, oh, geez, shit. What okay. the? Um, you, you guys want to hang out together and I'll just leave the stream up? <laughs> well, I gotta get going. So, uh, all right, myself here. It's my nephew's birthday. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, if y'all want to see some golden age stuff, I can pull out some gold and some uh, mystery comics, Marvel mystery. No, I'd, I'd love to, man. I do have to be on with you. <laughs> all right. Uh, have a, let's, good uh, seeing y'all. Thanks for backing everything, Wyman. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, no problem. It was uh, well worth it. Um, uh, Jennifer, yeah. I. I just, Jennifer, I dropped you the link, but I think I'm just going to close out the broadcast because I have to get to work. I'm late. I thought I saw it an hour to go, but I screwed up. He's got some explaining to do. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, I shall catch you all later. Thanks for everything, guys, and thanks for hanging. Take care. Uh, I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'll have to make it up to you. We'll do uh, bring you in on another uh, stream. So Nice, nice meeting you all. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice Thanks to meet you, Thanks for sharing your books, and you all have a great day. We are closing the broadcast in three, two, one. Bye.